Good morning! Hello, hello, hello! We're up earlier today so that we can play a little bit longer before I have to go to work today. <laughs> so we are going to be continuing where we left off. We haven't yet to make a choice in this game. But so far the art is super pretty. I like the setting. There has been a lot of information given to us so far. I assume it's going to continue for a while longer. But this is my only save and this save isn't even because I had a choice. It's just because we were going out to eat and I had to go. <laughs> so we haven't made a single choice in this game. And we played quite a while. We got through three chapters yesterday and then um oh goodness learned so much stuff so right now we are in front of a shrine or a temple i can't remember which one uh we are here to see if we can find a woman who we believe um I may have information on the escapees. Now the escapees, we've learned two things. We've learned their names and we learned that who let them escape. Those are the two things you know for sure so far. And we're gonna learn some more today. The corporate slave, that's our friend Nono, is better at ticking me off than King Enma himself. <laughs> Is that Shelby? That's not Shelby, right? He just breathed and I thought of Shelby Snell. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Make sure I'm not... I don't think we actually did go through all the guys in this game. So before we played Sympathy's Kiss, we had a stream where I just like broke down all the characters and we searched all of their uh, acting history just to see who was who. Does this one not have his voice actor listed on his profile? Well, that's not good. I know someone who will have posted it. Where's Atome Kid? There she is. She, uh, she usually gives me my answers. I just lied. I didn't even go. I'm on a Atome website, not, not hers. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have found two lists and neither one of them tell me characters' names. Let's see, let's see. Has she not posted about it? Let's just look up. Let's see. Let's see. On so far. Oh, wait. Oh, what color is he? He's red. He's red. Paku Yashiro. Games. Ready kill. Oh no, it's Raul. <gasps> it's Raul from Cupid Parasite. Where he breathed and it made me think of Shelby. Shelby Snell, if you ever watch play Cupid's Parasite, he takes a deep breath and it's crazy lurking today oh no hang on everything froze i'm so hyped i have purposefully not used my phone to watch this stream with a full charge oh prim i'm so excited lurking today my head hurts i may or may not stay up till 4 4 6 a.m playing gilded shadows finishing the fifth route and starting a little bit of the sixth route it was worth it, but my head hurts. Ooh, Asia, that sounds like a nightmare. I was up until 2 a.m. because I couldn't sleep, but <laughs> I wasn't playing games. I did play games for a little bit with uh, Ray last night. But yeah, Geomon is voiced by Raul. I hadn't looked them up, I realized, today. Let's see if we can look up anybody else while we're here. We got... I forgot. I don't even know his name. What is he has a long last name? Who has a super long last name? Aha. I 
I hope you feel better, Asia. Aw. I'm not feeling great either, but I'm persistent for mid. Blue also wasn't feeling good. Blue said she had an injury yesterday and that she wasn't even able to play her game because of it. Fire emblem. What we got? What we got on the Atome side? Daruko. Daroku. Daroku. Busta Fellows. Okay, he's Adam and Busta Fellows. Um, oh my gosh, it's Il Faro de Rio. It's a Cafe Enchante. It's our little angel. Okay. Anything else on here to notate? Oh, Pio Fori Dante. He's also Dante. I'll take some medicine. If I don't say anything for hours, I likely fell asleep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please don't, don't injure yourself. Oh, and Cafe Corelli, okay. Well, that's cool, voices are fun. All right, let's see. We'll check, I know Jack is uh, Alan from Cupid Parasite. That's so interesting, we have two different people Oh, we can actually see who the voice actor is. People deserve all the rest. Aw, I hope you feel better. You guys are being so nice to each other. I love it. All right, Jean Sato. All right, he has nothing I know, but that's the cat boy. What about... Soma. Let's check out Soma. Oh wait, it, she listed it. I don't even have to do the work, bro. She did all the work for me. All right, so Kinosuke Uga is Eves. So we have Eves and Minio. Uh, Otaro and Winter's Wish. Oh, ho, 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 Uga. All right. We do, wait, didn't I say someone sounded like Otaro yesterday? Was it him? I don't even remember. And then Suzuko is voiced by, or voices of Kito Minorikawa and Jack Jean. Uh, Nine Rip, we haven't had the pleasure of playing. Nobody else you really know. Interesting. Well, we have a lot of good ones though, so hey. Our dad is Dio. Oh, Nono is Xion and Variable Barricade. Caleb in Love and Deep Space. Haven't played that one. Nothing else that I recognize. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm trying to make sure I don't spoil anything accidentally. I was just trying to see who the voices were. All right. Well, we have Raul. We have Alan. We have... The angel from Cafe Enchanté. We have Otaro! Yay! Does that mean he's evil? Otaro usually ends up being the secret, secret villain. All right, it's not good to judge, right? In any case, all we can do for now is keep an eye on them. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of activity right now, so maybe we should call it a day. Imagine how much acting he's doing, actually. He's in this one, and then Cupid Parasite comes out in two months, and I know they come out in Japan before they come to the U.S., but dang. I just read that first line as Lord Hot Guardian, and I said, what? And then I reread <laughs> Lord Hell Guardian. You've never been to the human realm before, right? How about we take a look in the back alleys? That's where people get murdered. She doesn't know that, so. These are the back alleys, also known as Ura. The back streets to the Asakusa Special Ward. This is the common name for the area and a place where goods that can't be sold on the main street can be found. Also, I chose not to wear my red glasses today because they were giving me a headache yesterday. Which hurts my feelings. 
That's what people usually call it, right? So, I don't know who came up with it, but yeah. It's a marketplace? Sounds nefarious. It's a marketplace for things that can't be sold out in the open. Men and women, corpses, dubious treasures, and the like. <laughs> I didn't read the rest of that sentence before I said it sounded dubious. It's extremely dubious. It doesn't look all that suspicious. It's the same with the hell tree. The world around it changes after the sun goes down. Does he sound like our little angel from Cafe Enchanté? I love Japanese voice actors because they have such a range. Some of them don't change their voice all that much, but some of them I hear them and I'm like, oh, that sounds like da da da, and it's a completely different person. <laughs> like, never mind. I'm sure it's no place an honest, straight laced Hell Guardian would be. Does he have to say it like that? She's like, I'll fight you. Should I start trying to part my bang how she has her bang part? I don't know if I can do it. There, I did it. <laughs> Man, ill chain, stack crazy. <laughs> now that we've all seen the aura, I guess we can officially call it a day. I'm gonna hit the arcade real quick. <laughs> no, no. Where's that pathetic shouting coming from? It's coming from over there. That camera is my life, please give it back. Oh, go to hell. That's what it says. Okay, I was like, go yo? Here, this looks exp hey, this looks expensive. Listen, I'm a bit tight on money this month, so let me have it. You can think of it as a charitable donation. He's cute. He's cute. Okay, that's fair. Cute. Hello, let me protect. Okay, everyone fell in love with him. He. We don't even know his story yet. And we know he's not dateable. You can't give it back, please. It's like a forced charity donation. I told you, you're helping someone out here. While you're at it, give me your wallet, too. No, my camera. Stop fussing, you gotta be real nice, otherwise King Enma's gonna be real angry with you in hell. I fair I swear if he's evil too. You don't even know yet if the angel's evil. We're just making assumptions here. Which is all we know how to do. What did he just say? <laughs> I can't live without my camera. Give it back, please. Get off, little fun. I'm gonna kick your ass. Then we're gonna kick your ass. You look like a pretty bad dude. Maybe I can make you into a nicer looking guy by etching some lines into your face. Just hold still. <laughs> it's always the cute ones that are evil, which is why I said maybe he's evil. He's voiced by Otaro. <laughs> do you remember Otaro? Do you remember the love of my life? I do. <laughs> Taking from the week is disgraceful for a guy. Just gotta be nice, huh? Lucky for you, we're the nicest guys you'll ever meet. We can escort you to King Enma right now. 
You'll join us in getting shredded and burnt to pieces, yeah? Yes, 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 yes. I don't care if it's Eve's VA. Oh. Is it Eve's as well? Do I still have her thing open? Hang on. I was on a Tommy Kitten site. Oh, it is Eve's. Wait. Oh, snap. That's right. And Minio, which honestly, all things considered, Minio is my least favorite character in Caller X Malice. I turned his voice down because he kept screaming so much. So that guy has such a range. Good morning. Good morning, Jay. He'll join us in getting shredded and burnt to pieces, yeah? <laughs> Are you guys actually from hell? Kill. Get lost. Oops, we'll be taking the camera back. Like, does that sound like Eve's? It does not. Does that sound like Otaro? A little bit, actually. Kikunosuke quickly took back the camera while giving the other guy a pat on the back. Totally not suspicious walking around with handcuffs. Technically, it's only one. And is it really a handcuffs at that point? It's just a fashion accessory. Prim Prim, hello. We be sketching today. Oh yeah, Prim, you gonna draw today? Uh, 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 he's dying. Uh, 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 uh. Here's your camera. Oh, 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 they're nice to other guys. Yeah, how rude. <laughs> I'm sure we scared you, but it was just a little bit of acting. It's it's okay. What are they doing? These are supposed to be the most atrocious, despicable criminals that ever were. Oh, I'm sorry. Two days ago, you're like, man, these guys are so nice. And then they were mean to you for five minutes, and you ran to your room crying because you couldn't handle the situation and no one prepared you for that situation which is crazy because you've just admitted that you have felt every single punishment from the top to the bottom minus getting your genitalia removed off your body I would assume I would assume that one wasn't for you I'll be trying just gotta get an idea first <gasps> sighting Idiots like that have been around for centuries. Just be careful when you're carrying around expensive stuff. Is he in love with us now? He's blushing. I what if MC is a girl in disguise and she knows how much they hate girls and not wanting to be exposed yet falling in love with these women hating men. So, what if she's actually a guy? <laughs> Is that what you mean? Like, she's just wearing a wig. She takes the wig off. It's the same, like, hair in the front, but everything else is different. <laughs> what, 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 what are your names? You don't need to remember our names for this. Just live in peace, kid. They got deuces, and then they head out guys just now no a story spin where there is a gender bend so I just want to make sure I understand is the MC a boy or a girl in, in, in the gender bend story because either thing could work the MC could pretend to be a girl if she know or if they if he knows they don't like girls to try and get them to leave him alone or it could be a girl pretending to be a guy just so the guys will accept her, which is still Jack Jean, honestly. She's pretending to be a boy. Okay. Now we need a premise after that. So where where are we setting this story up? What kind of futuristic modern day in the past? Is it a school setting 
a work setting or like it's an underground party. Hear this out. Okay, it's an underground party. I'm picturing a uh, GOT7 right now, by the way. It's an underground party and like these guys all go there and they like dance and stuff. And then uh, she wants to be cool like those guys. So she starts dressing up like a guy and going there and dancing. And then one of them's like, what's your name? And then she's like, oh, they can't know. And like hides her head a little bit more. And then she runs out of the place. Jack and Jean in a different font. Yeah. Everything's, I mean, Jack and Jean is just, she's the man in a different font. <laughs> Just an alternate universe of Tengoku, but are they still slaves to the economy? I was imagining a what if scenario in Tengoku. Ah, that's fair. What if she knew they didn't like girls and so she just wanted to not have to deal with them being assholes the whole time? Fair. She'd probably have had to seen them being assholes first uh, and have known in advance that this was going to happen because she didn't know any of that prior to this. Could they actually? be now that would definitely scare them after they realize they're sharing a room with a girl Boy, maybe. why are you smiling <laughs> nothing that sure doesn't look like nothing if there's something you need to say it spit it out i've got nothing to say so they actually do have nice parts to them it can be like May. We can pick our favorite parts and put them together and build our own man. You all act so terrible towards me, but thanks for saving that boy. It's gross. Stop smiling like that. Sorry? That's exactly what we're talking about. Why are you smiling? Did we do something? Honestly, this just sounds like a region of my D&D story where a nation just hates mid and it's even related to fire. Ooh. I mean, that sounds gorgeous. Ooh, you could draw a D&D character. I like armor. I think. I mean, I have a story where a society is nothing but female. It's a side story, though. Like, they're not, like, the main protag of the entire story. It's just like, by the way, here's this one town where there's only girls. It's nothing. Hachan? Could it be you, Hachan? Oh, Oshichi. It really is you. I'm so surprised. Yeah, it is. Are you off work now, Oshichi? Yeah. But why are you here, Hachan? I thought you said you'd never go to the human realm. Ah, uh, well... It all happened so fast, I even had a chance to talk to her about it. But I'm not sure how much of this I should mention to Oshichi. That's right, because sometimes your best friends are evil. <gasps> Jack? Jack? Oh my god, it's yeah, Jack! J signal no yo, it's time for J signal. A program broadcasted in the human realm, hosted by Jack. Is he just a human? What just happened? How did the I can't draw armor for the life of me, but I could draw one of the characters that come from the region for today. Ooh, that'd be fun. Don't draw armor, just draw them in like lazy clothes. Jack! Asia, finally. We're gonna kick things off with a teaser from one of my latest tracks. <laughs> well, it's one of Jack's new songs! Who's Jack? A celebrity in the human realm? Does he hate women too? That's a wonderful question, Blue. We'll have to stand next to him and see if he just pushes us out of the way. I misspelled so bad. He's he's not a hack. <laughs> Didn't even notice you put that. I mean, he could be a hack. He could be a hack if he wants to. Yeah, yeah, he's so handsome, writes all his own materials, even writes short stories, and all the girls just love him. I love him, too. 
Come to think of it, I came across his profile in the human realm documents. I'm sure you did. He's just so famous. Can we hear the song? Why did we cut away from him? You probably just skipped over him because you hate guys. Ha ha chan. Well, she's not wrong. I fell in love in two. Jack. There is a love interest in Gilded Shadow who also is named Jack. Jack is such a common name. Like, I was trying to say Jack, this pumpkin king, and I kept trying to say Jack Sparrow yesterday. Like, there's so many Jacks. Okay. She's not wrong. Also, I refilled my water bottle. Thank you, guys. It's keeping me hydrated. Ooh. What a song. I'm in I'm intrigued. This one's a ballad. It's about how even if my body withered away while I was stuck in eternal silence, my soul would still burn for you. Is that like a hint? Is he like, guess what? <laughs> Even if he withered away. Ugh, how lovely. It's just like me and Soul no Suke. Please give it a listen. It's called Heliogaba Lost Rose Blooms with the Moon. I want to listen to the song. I would sit here for three minutes listening to a song, please. What do you think of him, Hachan? What do you mean? If you and Jack ever got to know each other, I bet you could get his autograph. I wonder if she's aware that every single person that ever looks at this girl goes, I'm in love with her because all the gods in hell were in love with her. There was three guys I got punished severely just for like flirting with her. No. That would never absolutely under no circumstances ever happen. You really think so? I feel like you two would make a good looking couple. My lord hell guardian, maybe now would be a good time to get some tea with your friend. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Not at all. Friends like her are nice to have. They're distractions. It's definitely being snide with me. We would like to take a walk around the area anyways. Perhaps this would be a good time to disperse for the day. Wait, but... Lord Oshishi? I'm sorry, he said Lord Oshishi. She's not a lord. She's just a person. King Anma has ordered uh, we patrol the human realm under the leadership of your friend here. Right, everything was decided so suddenly yesterday. I'll be living on this side for a bit. A security patrol? So that's what it is. I'd like to thank you for your service. It's definitely going to make me feel more at ease knowing all these strong people are here. Is she going to mention she's not a lord? Was that his typo? Things haven't been too bad lately, although sometimes human men come and bother me. I've definitely heard about that. Was Yona hitting on her? Wait a second. Yona, what? Now that we're here, you'll never have to worry about that again. We are allies of all women. Oh, they're so full of it. If any of them come and bother you, please just let us know. I appreciate that, you guys. What the fuck? I know, right? Let's walk around the air and hopefully for whatever reason we'll run into Jack. We need just like 
Has anyone watched this movie, Starstruck? It's the most ridiculous movie I've ever seen, and I love it so much because it feels like it was written by a fanfic writer. Because it's a story about two girls. This is the simplest, slowest version of it. Two girls who go on vacation to California. One of the girls is obsessed with this singer. The other one could care less. So her sister is stalking the singer, goes to a club to get in. It's a Disney movie. Yes, it is. And then while she's in there, the other sister's sitting in the car. She gets tired of waiting, so she decides to go. But there's a line in the front, so she decides to go into the back. And that's right when the singer pops out, hits her in the head with a door. And instead of just leaving her there and saying, I'm really sorry that I hit you in the head, he takes her in a car to a hospital and then proceeds to basically keep her the whole night in his place. And then the next day they run into each other again and hang out. It's ridiculous. That's what she needs. She just needs to run into this guy and all of a sudden they're on a magical adventure. It doesn't feel like a Disney movie. That's why I like it more. It's kind of, yeah, it's a bit out there for a Disney movie. I will cut the boys off. I'll cut them off. They'll, I'm going to rear into their road and during while they're driving down the street. I hear you, Asia. You don't know. Maybe they're just womanizers. Wow, I appreciate you guys. Please, you morons can drop the act. Well, I guess we'll have a little visit then. But yeah, that's how she should run into Jack. She should just accidentally get hit in the face by a door by Jack. Jack could be like, I'm so sorry I injured you. Let me take you to a hospital. BTW, people can't see us hanging out together, so now I have to hide you in my house overnight because they'll know my car. And yet they hate women. <laughs> they were nice to her for the first day they met her too. Charlie, hello Charlie. They'd be like, she fell for it, fake ass boys. <laughs> Atta boy, we bullying Yona with this one. Yona, so everybody seems to like Yona in chat actually. <laughs> Please do come back by sun sunset. Bully Yona hype. You're the one who likes Yona. What do you mean? See you later. Oh, we're talking about the cutting, the, the manhoods. I get it now. They really seem like an intimidating bunch. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. They made me cry the first day. Really? I want Angel. Aww. I cannot help it. Uh, I mean, it's true. He does not sound like Eel in this one, though. Yeah, Leah, did you forget we can bully Grimm and date with death and we still love him? Yeah, but he said silly things. And one time he wrote every single word in all caps. Like, you gotta make fun of him when he does that. His disheveled look. Oh, his hairstyle and that slightly reveal of a skin makes him look the best, in my opinion. Are we talking about Yona? Are we talking about Digimon? Because Digimon shows a lot of skin. Yona, okay. <laughs> One of them is from the lowest rank of eternal hell. Should you tell your friend that? A reminder, lowest hell means you've done all of it. Casper is baby girl coded. That is so true. He is baby girl. But... <laughs> <laughs> Best baby girl. I'll be honest, I could tell Casper was not written for me as I played, but I loved him anyways. Yona is a sundere that everyone enjoys teasing. That's true. I'm, I feel like they're all sundere's right now, so I haven't actually really registered which one is a sundere. But I'm glad we have more security now. I mean, we do have some already, but I just feel safer knowing they're here too. I hear Casper and I think of the ghost. We made that joke in the game. <laughs> it's wild. You're part of it too, Hachan. Yeah, I'm going to do my very best. As I begin to give a quick bow. Hey, you seen the new Asakusa trash post? Trash post? Am I hearing that right? I read about that. Bonbon Bistro has the new strawberries and cream sandwich. Let's go try it. Asakusa is full of high school girls. That's because we like 
the devil. I don't know. I wonder if all, I'm not high school. I don't know why I said we. I don't know that was that. I was not in that class. I wonder if all of the human realm is like this. What's wrong? You're staring at those de- those curls. It's a different word. Ah,、oh, their uniforms. They're cute. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ever since I became a model prisoner and was able to come back to the human realm, I find myself just staring at them too. That's one thing to read about stuff like this in the documentations, but seeing it in person is amazing. They didn't have school uniforms in my lifetime. I keep wanting, thinking I want to try them on. Do it. You want to? Sure, and another girl said the same thing too. I was 16 the year I died, so I should be able to. The year you died. All I know is that I died at 19. And I know you're not in high school at 19. No, but you are in love. I thought of something else too. A school uniform date with Sonosuke. Just like that. I looked in the direction she pointed. A boy and a girl clad in school uniforms were sitting close together, sharing a crepe. <gasps> a crepe. I want a crepe. A school uniform date. The dream isn't, fu- isn't for me. I died too late. Whatever. Men need to be obliterated. He's still a guy. For all we know, he's going to be violent with her or trick her tomorrow. Huh? She doesn't even remember her trauma, but she's holding that grudge with her. What if it's like in Yu Yasha? What if when she died, she thought that he betrayed her? And that's why she has this deep hatred for men because she was like, I'm in love with this man. And they're like, Well, he's never coming back because he said you suck. And then she died. <laughs> and then she's like, <gasps> And so she died with that hate in her heart. No? Maybe? Hachan, isn't it kind of judgmental thinking a little harsh for that young boy? Well. <laughs> also. Does her friend have that bracelet? Why does she have that bracelet? She's literally the king s of hell's daughter. Why is she wearing one? I know that men in hell are basically the crud of the crop. No argument there. And I totally get the misandry, especially after you went through the hell guardian school. But you know that there are some guys who didn't turn into criminals, right? Or are you saying King Enma and Takamura are evil too? I think Father and even Sensei No No aren't exempt from the category. There, see, she finally established that thing we keep saying, like, but what about your family? Well, that logic is definitely nonsense. Sonosuke was so kind, you have to meet him. What if Sonosuke is reincarnation is Jack? Come on, those cool guys from earlier aren't bad either, right? They did give me a sandwich, one of them. You're talking about Goemon and the others? Who else would I be talking about? Wait, what? Goemon? With the black hair? Wait, when you say Goemon, you couldn't possibly mean. The Goemon? Ishikawa? The famous thief who was sentenced to death by boiling. I'm gonna say a random thing.、Uh, in Bob's Burgers, because I can quote it. 
throughout, there is a part where there's this one girl who's like, this was given to me by like Kevin. Caffeine is she like, it's not is she call, but it's close. And every time I say his last name, I hear it in my head. He was first place in the race last year. <laughs> just like, oh. Sentenced to death by boiling. I thought he was on fire, but maybe it was just showing the flames around him. That's the one. Deep fried Goemon. Be like, num, 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 num. Oh no, I totally didn't realize. I even bought a portrait of Koemon when I was alive. Really? Koemon Ishikawa was so popular in my time that plays about him were amazing. I was obsessed. I see, Ochishi lived her life in an era not so distant from Goemon's time. Goemon is way different from any villain. I mean, he gave the money he stole to the poor, right? If he had lived in a more forgiving time, he would have been called the man of the people, a real hero. So what you're saying is, he's Robin Hood. A theft is theft. His actions sentenced him to the eternal hell. People who commit every crime under the sun go to eternal hell. He has to be the absolute worst, nastiest, most terrifying kind of criminal. You seem oddly stubborn today, don't you think? Not really. She's like, I don't feel more stubborn than normal, but like, if you're gonna compliment the guy who was mean to me, that also made me coffee. Then I'm going to blindly accuse him of being terrible. I can't bring myself to say that I haven't been getting along with them. And it's true, they saved that boy earlier. They treat me some something awful, but maybe I could try and trust them a little more. No, no, no. They're just good at putting on a face. <laughs> I'm just happy to be chatting with you like this in Asakusa. Hachan, I do hope you have fun. I got a theory, just a random theory. What if Goemon and MC were thieves together, like partners in crime and love and something happened? Just a random thought. It could be like that. It could be a very Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing. Because the only thing we know is that when he was boiled alive, she had her memories erased of him. <gasps> Wait, was she already dead? Did they fall in love and she was already dead? And then they erased her memories? I'm just happy to be chatting with you like this. I do hope you have fun. I'm not here for fun, I'm here to work. Fun isn't in my schedule. You're so serious. What else is new? Whatever, come to the shop with me. Which shop? What shop? Oh, this shop. Good morning, Takamura. Sorry, I'm here once again. Where is everyone else? Maybe they were being considerate. They gave me some time to talk to Oshishi. So, I see. Well then, Oshishi, you can sit and chat with her until more customers arrive. <gasps> really? It's not every day that your hermit of a friend managed to find herself in the human world. I too am a hermit. Thank you. Thank you so much, Takamura. I'm gonna put in some good work later. Jack, when are we gonna meet you? I'm ready to have a random theory about you. I mean, we already have a bunch of theories. He could be dead. He could be an angel. He could still be a demon. Like, we don't know. Thank you, Sensei Nono. After bowing my head deeply, I sat down in the seat by the window like I had earlier. Oh. To have more food. <laughs> what is that? 
さっきも言ったけどここでハッチャンと向かい合って座れるのが嬉しくて嬉しくて。I said it before, but I'm just so happy that we can sit and talk face to face like this, Hachan. What if he's an angel but pretends to be human? What if he's a demon and pretends to be an angel? What if he's Dante? I never thought my best friend would come here to the human realm. I actually had the sea brim cha suke and the rolled egg with dashi earlier. The rolled egg is so good, right? I learned how to make it so I can feed it to Sonosuke someday. That's right. Since I'm here, I can actually help you find him. Really? Yeah. Well, I still don't know what he looks like. So the egg was her cooking? No, she didn't cook it. The person who cooked it was Nono earlier, but she learned how to make it herself. So when she starts, her shift hadn't started yet. So she can make it going forward. I wish I could just look through Hell's prisoners list, but I know that isn't allowed. And if what you said is true, oh she she, then maybe he was reborn into a human. Like Jack. I just have a feeling that he isn't in hell. I have no proof. It's just my woman's intuition. Maybe he is in the human realm. Wait, let me draw a picture of him. I've never forgotten Sonosuke's face. But does she draw like the kid from Cafe Enchante? Perfect. I don't think I'm fully getting across just how handsome Sonosuke is. Trying to summon Jack. She, the drawing looked like the guy from the bad guys, right? Didn't that look like him? Hang on, we're gonna go bloop. Here, and then we go all the way down for a while because I take a lot of screenshots. This guy, that's what he looks like. Look, she drew that guy. She's such a big simp. I mean, you gotta give her credit. She's dedicated. She straight up burnt her house on fire, set her house on fire and died because of it and went to hell for starting the fire. And she's still just like, I miss him. <laughs> He's very handsome, seriously. I'm sure he is. <laughs> her queen. I should have learned more about art if I knew this was going to happen. Maybe you could have been practicing this whole time. Is there paper on hell? But I do get the gist of what he looks like. I'll let you know if I see any guys like that, you know, with a ponytail. I respect her a lot. <laughs> now, like, look at our queen. This is the Atomi queen here. Not only... Did she fall in love at first sight? She set her house on fire to meet that guy again. Instead of just going back to the shrine. <laughs> Sis survived hell on the thought about one guy. Respect. I mean, that's fair. I think, uh, who was it? Prim. Prim was willing to go to hell too, just to be with the guy. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I might find him soon. <gasps> Oh, you're the boy from earlier. I didn't expect you to be here. You know Shin? Just a little while ago, I was being harassed by some scary guy and she helped me. Ah, I was there. He really did save my life. Thank you so much. The JS just makes me think of just saying, just saying. Oh no, I didn't even really do anything. I'm glad your camera was okay too. Hi. What a depressing sentence. This camera is my best friend. 
I spat here to say that yes, I would lay my life <laughs> to that baby girl angel. <laughs> oh God. Prim just like was in another room, heard her name mentioned, and ran back in here. <laughs> oh right, your name. If you wouldn't mind, would you please tell me your name and contact information? Ooh, you don't need my contact information. We just met. My name is Shin Fujimori. I'm Leah Enma. I'm not a human. I'm from hell. Oh, I thought that might be the case. I'm not that different from a human, really, aside from having died once. You must know a lot about hell, though, Oshichi, right? through Oshichi, right? <laughs> I was in another room. Telepathic as always, Leah. I'm not saying I'm telepathic. I just mean you said you ran here. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself an expert. I just happen to eat here a lot. And because I'm here so much, that's how I know Oshishi and Mr. Takamura. Ah, I see. Well, I'm sure you'll see me around, so don't be afraid to come say hello. Um, I'm sorry, it was a bit forward of me to be so friendly out of the blue, wasn't it? No, that's not it. You just remind me of a girl and he starts singing Usher. You didn't do anything, it's my fault. Why? Fujimori? I've never seen a quote that is more me in my entire life. I'm boring and gloomy, not very social. I'm just a worthless dweeb who doesn't mean anything to anyone at all. Okay, the last part was a little bit harsh, but like the beginning. A dweeb? Oh, she, she softly prodded my foot. Is it... From the sea, red hair and blue eyes. You thought that was Ariel, the little mermaid, but it was Yona. Oh my god, that's true. He does look the ocean and his little picture on his card had a shark on it. Oh my god. My poor baby, I protect. Oh, she, she prodded my foot. I asked for your name because I wanted to send you a gift as thanks for saving me. This is a forward sentence. I wasn't trying to get to know you and I definitely wasn't hitting on you. I'm sorry for the confusion. Shin is so polite though, but like, does he think we thought he was hitting on us? No, it's fine. What does that mean? How depressed are you, Shin? Please let those, guys, let those guys from earlier know that I was really thankful for them too. I'm sure none of you will see me again. Huh? Good day. Oh, he's he's bad. You guys, you're trying to protect him, but he's evil. He's... Hang on, I'll remember his name. Caller X Malice. It was my brother's best friend. He's that guy. He's innocent, but evil. Did I see right? Am I looking for a capital L? I don't see it. Prim called it! <laughs> uh, um... I was so baffled at what just unfolded before me, I had no idea what would cause this boy to behave like that. Oh, she, she, was I... rude to him? No, it's just me. Okay. You're alright. You did nothing wrong, Kachan. I did wake up from a nap. How's your back feeling? Hold on. What does dweeb mean? Is that. Is that the actual defin. Is that. Wait. Is that where Dweeb came from? Did she just tell me something I've never heard? Dweeb. 
or a John's. A person who, no, that's not. I don't see anywhere saying that's how Dweeb came into existence. I think someone just combined dwarf and feeb and got dweeb. It basically just means someone weak and boring. That's not even what dweeb means either, actually. Although the origin of the word is unclear, it derives from feeble and is used as an insult to describe someone who is unattractive, insignificant, or unequipped. Is it? I guess I don't use the word dweeb. I just, I guess I just turn it into weeb in my head. People say that in the human realm. I don't think I saw that in my conversational dictionary. It's definitely a little dated, but some people use it here and there. Are you telling me that he's not of this world? Bandit should have a feature that you can poke characters' cheeks like Angel Man specifically, please. I'm off. I'm on my hands and knees for my Angel Man content right now. <laughs> Poor Prim. The meaning must have changed a little bit. Uh, maybe in this universe. You know what? That's fair. I see. I'll make sure to write that down. She has her own book with dictionary words. You know, I think... And this is only a hunch. But I... Don't think Shin's going to school. Aren't young humans supposed to go to school? Young humans. Sure, that's on the social norm, but there are kids with all sorts of difficult circumstances that keep them from going. I'm I'm sorry. Sayano Kawa is outside of my jurisdiction, so I'm not very familiar with how children are treated here. A bank of the Sanzu River where children who have died before their parents go. These children built a towers of stone in memory of their parents, but they these are torn down by hell guardians who force the children to build them again. How old are these children in hell? What the heck? Hell is so weird. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that the saddest story you've just read? Like, children in hell build towers to remember their parents. And in hell, they... What? Oh my god. It just seems mean. Shin comes in the morning, noon, and at night. Not anymore, not any less. Did I do something wrong? It's hard to say, but I don't think you he took anything you did as malicious, so there's really no need to worry. That's just bullying with extra steps. <laughs> check for poking features. Alright, two people want the poking feature. <laughs> oh, Hachan! If you're here, you must have a phone, right? You gotta give me your number. Look at those clouds. Oh, I hit the button too slow. Ah. <sighs> my second day here and I've already made such a stupid mistake. I mean, considering what's happened so far with Goemon and the others too, have I done anything right at all? Hydrate, that's great. Oh, we're going to flash forward back. I forgot to swallow for a second there. That was weird. All right, I'm sure none of you will see me again. Why did he have to say something so sad? Just to be clear, if he does unalive himself, actually, he'd probably end up in hell. All right, I'm back. Uh. Sure. 
just saying. He's also got a shirt that says just saying on it. Okay. Him too. His shirt also says just saying. But his shirt looks so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. I like that one. Hey. <gasps> I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this one. Yona, yona, yona. Dog boy. <laughs> so the provisional guardian didn't run away. I'd never do such a thing. What's the matter? You look awful. Okay, he's still wearing the ribbon. <gasps> Is the ribbon hers? It matches. It matches the thing in her hair, like the color scheme. And I know someone said they look like siblings and that could be part of it. Is that her ribbon? <laughs> Never mind. Hello, long hair. What's the matter? You look awful. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Do you know what a dweeb is? Sure, like King Enma, right? <laughs> I couldn't help but chuckle, which didn't exactly make me feel like I was in control here. Why do you ask? Post a boy. Remember that boy you helped out earlier? Oh, oh the little cameraman. <laughs> I, saw, I don't know. Does he look better with his shirt on? Does he? Does this look better? I kind of think he looks better with his shirt on. Which is weird. I do like his abs. But I feel like I'm just distracted by how he has no nipples the whole time. I saw him get over at the cafe. But I think I messed up. I told him that I hoped to see him around. But it upset him. And he got all self-deprecating de on, on me. It was sad. Chiamon Winnie and the Croquette trend. I've never heard of that trend. How do they get their clothes on with those cuffs around their wrist? I imagine it's like Monster High dolls. You just pop the wrist off, remove the bracelet temporarily, put the clothes on, then pop the bracelet and the hand back on. I could be wrong though. I can't say I wouldn't expect a reaction like that, but how is this your fault? I think I was just too friendly. I was too nice. Too charismatic. I mean, I don't think beating yourself up about what happened is going to help anything. She's like, how dare you? Giamon, don't call me out like that. I doubt they can take it off because they would just try to escape then. Prim, I just said they removed their entire hand off their body as a joke. <laughs> For starters, you just got here and the human realm may as well be another planet. Second, you take everything so ridiculously seriously. Maybe it's magic. Maybe it knows when you're trying to take your clothes off. Dang it. Maybe it's magnetic. Maybe you can take it off for like you know how like um Oh gosh, I can't think. There's like this thing where you like pause for a certain whatever and it like deactivates temporarily. But if you were to move away from it, it would like I don't know, kill you. <laughs> Honestly, if anything, the only one who messed up is the little brooding guy who pouted about never seeing each other again. And, oh, that drip flew by me. Guess it's drawing time. You don't have to talk about him like that. The only thing you need to worry about is whether you're going to give him a smile or the cold shoulder the next time you see him. The next time I run into him? If it was me and I really didn't want to see you again, I wouldn't have said a thing. Hmm. The only thing that drew those words out of him was the desire to see you again. God, is she so incredibly good looking that another man has fallen in love with her after seeing her for all of five seconds? The hell water thing heals them so they can chop their hands off, take off the handcuff, clothes, 
cut off and drip their arms into the hell water and their hand returns. Perfect. And that is how they change their clothes every day. They just... And then they keep going. And then they pop it all back on. They give it like an ankle bracelet. Not an ankle bracelet. An ankle monitor. You know, they have to charge those things. It's a pain, but they gotta. Are you sure you aren't just insane? <laughs> That would be so messy and painful. They could just keep wearing their jumpsuits. <laughs> it's their choice. They've made this choice. They're going to lie in this bed. If I was you, the next time I saw him, I'd give him a big smile and say, how's it going? Why I pat him on the back? Ooh, I would not pat him on the back. I'm going to be... Is this guy trying to cheer me up? No, I can't forget how terrible they all were from day one. That smile. This is a trap. This is a trap. That's right. The sandwiches. Ah, uh, by the way, I have something to ask you. Everyone was relaxing on the couch. Someone was sneaking around in my room last night. I didn't hear any suspicious footsteps. Look at his bracelet, actually. He looks like he could just, like, squeeze his hand out of it. I don't think it was a burglar or anything. Did someone leave something by my door? Hmm. Yeah, no, that was fast. Not me. Me either. What kind of something? A paper bag? Wasn't me. Neither did I. It was a ghost. We have a ghost. It was Jack. Jack showed up, left a bag by my door. It wasn't any of you. Look how comfy he looks in that cardigan. Like, oh my God. I like it. Okay. Hi. What was in the bag? Was it something dangerous? Sandwiches? How do you know it wasn't Takamura? Well, the note just said take this. I can see him writing a note like that. You should check with him tomorrow. Big <laughs> Jack's doing I'm just making this up. <laughs> She's never met Jack. You think so? Did Sensei No No really come by? That's not possible. It seems like it was no one else here. I wonder who it could be. Yona. Yona said no so fast. I also had something to ask you. What is it? Why Hachan and Mukun? That's right. Oh yeah, I was wondering about that too. That guy from Heavenly Realm was so chummy with you. I don't know why it's Hachan actually. That was when we broke the game and I didn't know how to open the dictionary correctly. Let's see, is this alphabetical? This refers to the protagonist. It does not answer the question. Well, that's not any of your concern, really. She's hiding something. It's not important. Excuse me. It's a habit I got from my dad, okay? Okay, Pochi? All right? Mate. <laughs> my beloved, even his name makes me sad. Wait. Eek. In an instant, Yona caught up in my path. It's obvious that you're nervous and even more that you're hiding something. He's like, get ready. Tell us. Ah. I can get a screenshot of all of them in their cute clothes. Oh, come on. Why is now the time they decide to worry, work together for once? If Wolfboy has really good hearing, does that mean he'll... He he'll he hear and love interest being intimate or something like that huh blue's asking the real questions um i don't i don't think they're gonna get intimate in this house hopefully 
そこまで恥じらうことなのかよ。Is it embarrassing or something? <laughs> no. ああもしかしてあんたの前かれ Is he an ex? This couldn't be further from the truth. なら説明しろ。Explain. You heard father call me sweetie before, haven't you? I mentioned this back at the cafe, but he's er- easily influenced by movies and books. He used to call me honey before, too. Honey? Honey, yeah. Ah, もしかして Don't tell me. I gave a small nod and continued. He knew I was close to Oshishi, so he took Chi from her name and Ha from mine and just started calling us Sichi Shaha. Sichi Shaha. Kamoto heard that and suddenly decided he wanted a nickname, so he told us to make Mu from his name and call him Mukun. Wow, that couldn't get any more forced. Yeah, but somehow the name has managed to stick all these years. I thought it was some kind of dog name, you know, like Hachiko, the famously loyal Shibuya pup. That may be another meaning to it, too. Father keeps me as a pet after all. Huh? What the hell? Him keeping you as a pet's the most disturbing thing I've ever heard. Sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. That must sound weird, huh? You know, father loves animals, right? I mean, he gives you all such strange nicknames. Well, that's what happened with me, too. He decided that after taking care of me for so many animals, he wanted to care for a human daughter. That old man really comes up with the most messed up ideas. But he really takes such good care of me, so much that I feel bad. What a relationship. How absurd that he'd want a human daughter as a pet. Sensei Nono, along with everyone in Enma Palace, knows about it. Is it really so serious? Well, we're at it. You don't remind me of such a. Oh gosh. I went. I jumbled that whole page up. All right. While we're at it, do you mind if I ask you something else? You don't strike me as much of a criminal. Which hell did you come from? Huh? Plenty of criminals seem like they might be good people. Doko ni itaka hake. Spit it out. Where were you? Uh. I'm a transient. No. Utaka tatte. Transient? You mean you have no memories? That's right. They say transients disappear if left alone. But father adopted me. You don't remember anything, not even your parents' faces. Nothing. When I died, only my name and age appeared in the Johari mirror. All of the other data was corrupted. Johari, a mirror used by King Enma as he decides sentences for the all dead. All the deceased deeds while alive are shown through the mirror and examined for whether they have lied about who, how good or bad they were. As I spoke, I felt a loneliness deep in my heart. There was nothing inside me. Johari no kagami wa seizen no okonai o utsushidasu kagami. The Johari mirror shows the deeds of a person when they were alive. It's impossible to fabricate even the smallest details of that sh- what's shown. But does he remember who we are? I'm still curious. Other than your name and age of death, was there really absolutely nothing else? Like, are you Hal from Hal's Moving Castle? Do you remember me from a past life? I don't think so. To be honest, I was jealous of Oshishi. I had no one I wanted to see. I must have had family or friends, but I don't remember at all. There was nothing, no one I yearned to see again. <laughs> Gokusotsu toshite chugi o tsukusou to kangaeta no ka? 
Don't tell me. So in order to pay him back for adopting you, you decided to show your loyalty and become a Hell Guardian? Huh? Nailed it. Wow, you really are being kept as a pet. No, I'm not. He isn't mean to me at all, and he really does take good care of me. People have a word for the relationship you have with the old man. It's called servitude. Servitude refers to being controlled and made to listen to the orders of others. Servitude, I repeat the word in my mind. You work hard to show them that you're grateful, right? Yeah. Duh, and what's wrong with that? What's so wrong about what I'm doing? I could hear a strange grating noise coming from deep, deep within my heart. I love father. He takes care of me. He's taken care of me for so long. You really have no will of your own? Geomon! Quit it! That's so mean! I have no will. Whatever, I guess I shouldn't be prying, he says after prying. Geomon ruffles his hair, a habit of his, I guess. Taking a bath. What's going on? Just go to your room, girl. Jailman, that was so personal, right? And then he made the most ridiculous statement. He's like, all right, well, I guess I won't pry. You already did. It's too late. It's almost like I'm a prisoner here. I haven't done anything wrong, right? I'm going to my room. To cry with Tama. Tama, are you back yet? Aniki. Chief, don't worry about those guys. Meow. Okay, it's not my dog. It's a big dog. I was like, why do I hear barking? You've been making that face ever since you got out of the bath. Meow. Meow. You work so hard, Chief. And the Lord really is an honorable guy. Meow, even though he's a little weird. Just let the sinners flap their gums. Meow. You got a point, but... I don't have a will of my own. And there I was thinking that they might have actually been nice people. They're so mean. But they won't get the best of me. I'm gonna be the best Hell Guardian anyone has ever seen, and I'm choosing to do so out of my own free will. Is there a way for Goemon to un Digivolve? <laughs> that trash personality? I don't know if you can. I think this is his starting form, actually. He can't Digivolve anymore. Oh my god. I'm going to be the best Hell Guardian anyone has ever seen, and I'm choosing to do so out of my own free will. Except I also want my dad to approve of me. <laughs> and I wear contacts. Why does she have to wear contacts in Hell? Imagine. I have to check with Sensei Nono about the sandwiches. He must be call. He must be on a call. Wow. Still not going through. Maybe he's talking to father. I'll try again tomorrow. Turn him back into an egg. <laughs> and so on a mildly depressing note, my second day in the human realm came to a close. Trying my best to cheer myself up, I buried myself in the still unfamiliar bed. Yeah, that dog is still barking, but it's not mine. Not my problem. All right, we're on chapter four now. I believe this is how this works. Oh gosh, we haven't had a chat. This is, that chapter was like four hours. That's a long one. I've learned the Motley crew set sail. I'm still confused because it says three, right? And then you hit the button and then it turns into four. 
We saw three. Yeah, no, that's that's why it does this. So I had to redo my chapter notes because I didn't realize that until last time when we we switched to the next one. Whew. Yeah, Geomon, you want to talk? You want to not look at me? You don't make eye contact now that you've said something so fucking rude? Like, so awkward. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Our sweet little angels over going like, I'm fine. I'm not the problem. You are. It is a fact, after all, that I'm being kept. Oh, good. He does have a heart. Sorry about yesterday. Actually, you know what? Maybe the reason I like him is because... Stretch! No! He looks like, um... The guy from Princess Monaoke. When he takes his shirt off. Because he has those little sleevey sleeves underneath. So much stretching. Honestly, it's good for my body. <laughs> huh? Oh, good. So he realized. I think I crossed a line when I said you didn't have a will of your own. Ashitaka <laughs> Goimon. No will of your own. When I hear it again, it hurts. To be fair, all the boys in this house is wearing, are wearing bracelets. They also have no will of their own. When you think about it like that. Please forgive me. It's not your fault that this is the best you can do. I was... Had so <laughs> I was inconsiderate. Oh my god. He's not... That's not better. He becomes a princess when he bears his abs. <laughs> it's not what I meant. The guy in Princess Monoke <laughs> has... He wears a shirt, right? He wears a shirt. And then uh, sometimes he takes that shirt off and underneath his shirt, his shirt has... He has an undershirt, but it's not really an undershirt. It just ties. And so he has, he has abs. Um, and then he has these little blue sleeves on his arms. And when I was a kid and I first watched Princess Monoke, I wanted that shirt so bad. <laughs> Egg, turn back, going on now. <laughs> that's, that's, oh. It's one of those moments where you go like, I don't listen, I listen. Like, you just literally said it's not your fault that you suck. Why do you have to say it like that? I'm apologizing to you, aren't I? Just leave. Just leave the house. Go on on your own adventure, girl. Why does this conversation feel so thorny? Am I just being paranoid? Just I was thinking of the words to say. Hi. Hello. Pardon the interruption. Sensei Nono. Good morning. I'm here to borrow the yard. For just a second, I, I was picturing like a, like a yardstick, and I'm like just a like a little bit of ground. I'm sorry, you're such an idiot. Yeah, not really a nice apology. <laughs> it's not your fault that your life sucks. Okay, what you don't like my apology? Like, <laughs> hey, you have to tell us when you're coming by. Actually, he do not. I'm the one who prepared this residence for you. I do hope you can make an exception for me. What are you doing in the yard and why does it have to be this early in the morning? It'll only take a moment. Yard, will you be cleaning? May I help? Thank you, but there's no need to worry. I hear yard and I thought he was going to do a plants versus zombies game in the yard. And here I was picturing of the measurement. My brain's just like, what does he mean? But nay, nay, he means the, the yard outside. <sighs> Sensei Nono briskly walks into the yard. Now to deal with this again. Just leave. You don't have to stand here. Am I the only one who's like, and walk away? I'm going to make some coffee. You want some? I appreciate it. But about yesterday. 
Yeah, I said too much. Forget about it. I am not done. You don't get to tell me when I am done. Okay, I will say how I feel, my dude. <laughs> you can't just say that. Papa no tame ni ganbare. Your best for Papa. Ooh, do not bring my dad into this. See, I knew you were criticizing me. I was hoping MC would be a little more assertive. Honestly, I assume she would be. She's gone through every torture there is in hell. She is a guardian of hell, and yet she went to her room and cried the first day she was here because they said they weren't going to listen to her. I'm holding grudges, Geomon. Remember my face. Chomp. You don't have any memories of your life, and all you can do is cling to the old man. Is that your problem here? Yeah. Ma. More or less. Wait, does he remember her? Because that would explain it, right? He's a little petty. He's a little petty because he's like, this bitch doesn't remember we were in love. Is it really so bad that I want to work hard for father? The one who... Everyone, come out. The onsen is hot and ready. Huh. Did he just say onsen? Yeah, Geomon, you want to get in some hot water? Some really hot water, Geomon? Do you want to do that with right now? That's what I heard too. Sensei, no, no, what's going on? CG, CG. <laughs> Whoa, I want an onsen. <sighs> no, no, Sensei, what was that speed? I mean, he is a demon. Well, he's not a demon. He's dead. What the hell? He put an onsen here? Honestly, I want an onsen. That was the only thing we didn't do in Japan that I wanted to do, but I had this full sleeve and there's rules. What's What's an onsen? An onsen in Japan is, there's a couple different things. Typically it's a bathhouse. Um, and in some regions in Japan, it has naturally hot running water that is like literally from the mountains. Some of the fabricated ones, they heat the water themselves, but some places there, it's just hot. There's both open onsens like this outside. There's also natural onsens that are straight up in rock formations, but it's just hot, hot water. And in Japan, because they have like shared communal baths, they have a couple of rules, which is why I can't go. Cause you can't have uh, tattoos because of Yakuza. The Yakuza took it from us all. Um, so because of that rule alone, you can't go into bathhouses if you have tattoos typically. But onsens are very, very popular in Japan. They have some areas in Japan that have more just hotels that are like connected to onsens. And then sometimes you can have like an onsen like this one in your like hotel room. Some people have onsens in their houses. It's really nice. Typically, it's always full of water, and the water is typically always hot. But again, when it's not a natural onsen, then you have to make it yourself. Picture just a hot pool. Simpler way to describe it. What's going on? As of last night, this was still just a regular yard, wasn't it? Why is there hot water bubbling up? That's hot. Are you okay? Oh, my apologies. The water is being drawn from hell, so it's a very hot. Cool it to your liking. This ain't plants versus zombies. I mean, it could be if you want to burn your enemies. From hell? What are you talking about? This water holds special powers from hell. <gasps> this is so they can change their clothes. It's that water from hell. We were just talking about this. It's so they can chop their arms off and dip their hands in the water and their hands will grow back. And then they don't have to worry about clothes being bulky. Surely you are aware of how the bodies of prisoners regenerate every day after all that 
dying brought you brought about by torture, yes? So no ricksde. Chotto could I no keganara, Koreni tskareba naorimas. Following that logic, you can heal minor injuries by taking a dip here. Just remember, it's physical, not mental, so being abused mentally will not be healed in this water. This is not unlike a healing spring you may see in a video game. How did they do it before without the onsen?、Hmm? They were just in hell. Hell yeah, sus water! <laughs> Hold it, corporate slave. Lord Takamura, are you serious about this? You expect us to put our necks on the line, face danger, feel okay about it because of this single onsen? It's very useful. When someone gets injured, you will find it to be quite effective. This is idiotic. They're trying to kill us. Well, guess what? You're already dead. If you really do feel that way, would it be best if we went back to revival hell right now? <laughs> Oh, I wonder just who will be the first one thrown into the water. I cannot wait. Well, it's not going to be me. I'm not going to screw up so bad that I get hurt. Save points added. Hold your seats. Shit's about to get real. Oh, I'm scared. You mean in the game? Wait, what just. <gasps> Moments after Sensei Nono left. Onsen? This Onsen, was this the special system he was referring to yesterday? I don't want to believe it. What good is some Onsen going to do? I was expecting something serious. Onsen de Kaike Surina, Ishawa Iranedaro. The hot spring could heal us. We wouldn't need doctors, would we? They must think we're complete idiots. I thought they'd give us something like, I don't know, some great hell power. Why don't we advertise this? We can call it the Hell Onsen and charge people to use it. We'll make a killing. Alright, everyone, let's reel it in. The ability to heal wounds is good, isn't it? Sensei Nono did us a real favor here. We're going up against Asa the Slasher. What are we going to do with this? Talk it over with him over a dip in the hot spring? Speaking of, why don't we go back? Have a look around Kuromon, Kuro, Kumo Nori, Novi. I'm changing the words. Temple, we need to start collecting more information. So, sure, we should really try and work up a sweat to earn our little dip in the path here later. Our friendship, let's go! Friendship is magic! Let's go! Going on, I've got something to say. Saroku? What's the matter? Anxiety started to build up as a grave expression unfolded across his face. Yona, Yona, when you get out of the bath, you have to clean up the water you leave on the floor. So, you know, the Gianna, I don't know. Cleaning is for servants. Kokoni Sonda Monoga Irioni Mierunoka? Soreto Omaega Genan Ninaruka? You see any maids here? Do you have any intention of becoming a servant for us then? Oh, yeah. Kyosuke was. No. Be careful. <laughs> They got an onsen, bro. I wouldn't be complaining. It's fair. Bullying Yona, let's go! Kikunosuke! <laughs> 
夜中に食べた皿はきちんと洗って寝ろ。Kunosuke, you have to wash your plates after you eat before you just going to bed. Sorry. I just get so sleepy after eating. I meant to get up early and wash them, but. You did that for me, Saraku? Sorry. Saraku must like to keep a clean place. Are we good then? Next time the floor is wet or I find dishes in the sink, I'm gonna kill someone, got it? Nice. Sada Mama. <laughs> Excuse me, girls. Do you know Shino Bikuni? Yes, we do. She's the person from the fancy temple, right? They always play her ads around town. Yeah, like the one I saw before. Have you heard any rumors about her? Yeah, but we didn't get to hear the music. I want to hear the music. Not really. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much. You're so kind. Girls Bar. Gavin's Gate? Heaven's Gate? Yakigo. WWW. Haku? I don't know what the last symbol is. Excuse me, do you know Shinobikuni? Shinobikuni? Oh, Kumono Idera no Hito desu, ne? Shinobukuni? Oh, from. Temple? Yeah. Of course I do. She's famous in Asakusa. Are you a worshiper too? I'm becoming curious about it lately. She rarely leaves the temple, but lots of ads that feature her play very often. I hear that she's very gentle and kind. Is she though? I see. Thank you very much. I haven't heard anything suspicious yet. Everyone basically says the same thing. Yeah, but I don't think she's going to be able to hide forever. Why don't we break into the temple, my guys? I second that. We've been in the human realm three days now. Do you think they're looking out for us, too? Hey, boys! Do you want some manju? It's specially branded with the seal of King Enma. We're fine. <laughs> Ugh, that woman thinks we're living humans. Because well, what do you expect when they don't let us wear those silk triangles in their place? We're bound by these stupid cuffs. Gio Mun shook his arm as if to show me too. Like, look at his. He had to wedge his shirt underneath that. This is boring. I don't mean to echo the corporate slave, but being peaceful really does start to dull your skull skills. Skulls, oh, wait. Why is Geomon arrested? Isn't Geomon arrested yet? Bro's going around flashing his abs and half of his boobs in people's faces. Uh, the male nipple is not considered a sexual uh, indiscretion. Also, I don't know the rules here, but we are in Hell's Gate. So maybe you're allowed. He'd be arrested if he was showing a different part of his body, though, but he has bandages on most of his body. Why don't we hurry up and go beat the crap out of Asa and the slasher so we can get these cuffs off, huh? 
Yona, you wouldn't do something so stupid as running off to attack him yourself, would you? Don't worry about it. Trust me. Oh, his voice. Wait, wait. Did you say he sound like the guy from Caller X Melis? That is a bad boy. He sounds like a bad boy. Hang on. Do I know him? Raul Adolf from Verche. Tokyo. What? That's Geomon. That's not him. What is this guy's name? Yona. Okay, Yona. Jack G, Nine Rips. I don't see anything on there. Let's see. Can I cheat? Can I cheat? Why does he sound like... I'm just easily distracted. This is my life. He's in Jack Jean. Wait, is this the right person? Oh, no, he is in Jack Jean. Okay. You should bandage his face because it's a crime. It's a crime. In my place, it's illegal to do that in public. For men, too, where I'm from, they just get really upset about women showing their boobies. They're like, whoa, your boobies? Put those away. But men are shirtless all the time. Nothing out of the ordinary today either. Are you guys actually looking around? Everyone seems like regular humans. I didn't sense anything unusual at all. That's how I felt too. Another peaceful day at Kuromonoi Temple. As birds chirped in the trees, everyone stuck to their mundane tasks like cutting the grass or sweeping the pavement. No one here is bald. Are they priests or not? Don't think the humans here take the practice all that seriously. They might be in training or maybe not. Maybe they just find them find meaning in these as They might be in training, or maybe not. Maybe they just find meaning in this as they distance themselves from their circular lives. Man, he is not. Public men, I like how you're spelling boobies incorrectly, intentionally, and it just keeps going, excuse me. <laughs> I mean, public men boobies are illegal in my place. They're, that's gender equality at work. That's fair. I agree. Shilmon be arrested right on the spot. <laughs> Technically, he has no boobies. Well, he ha well, he has abs. But his his uh, pectorals are uh, there, but he has no nipples. And typically, it's the nipple that they have a problem against. I see. See, he understands. Uga knows now. In any case, it's interesting to know that people seem to have faith in that woman. Takamura talked about it, right? He said she tells people what they want to hear. He's pretty, so it's fine. <laughs> If they say they're in pain and suffering, she pats them on the head and encourages them. Barb's <laughs> like, no. If they say they want to run away, she tells them to run to her and invites them to her fold. The basics of business. Oh, right. You were into business yourself, weren't you, Sadaku? <laughs> yeah, a bit. Not to brag. Oh, yeah. Why didn't we ask the people entering and exiting the temple how things are inside? I'll just say that I'm interested in becoming a follower of Shinobikuni. 
not so sure about that plan, but it beats standing around awkwardly like this. We'll be hiding in the shadows over there, so do your best to get some insight. I'm going to be honest, we haven't had a CG in forever. And, and that was like over two hours of playing after the, the last CG and we're we're almost two hours in again and there's not been a new CG. Like where are my CGs and my choices? I'm on it. After Goemon and the others were well hidden, I heard, headed towards the gate. A middle-aged woman with a kind face started walking in my direction. Excuse me, you're with the temple, yes? Hi. Yes, I am. So I've been interested in becoming a follower of Lady Shinobikuni. Do you think she would accept someone like me? But of course, Shinobikuni is here to save all, no matter who they are. In fact, <laughs> Lady Shinobukuni has a teaching tonight. Would you like to join us? Yeah, I'm not happy about this rock being able to flash his rocks, but I sadly can't do anything but diss him. Look at these rocks. Saucy cult woman lecture. They're having me come join. If you have committed to your desires to join, you can even see her right now. Oh. I think it would be a little dangerous to go and meet her right away. Maybe I can just go some get some information. My, I'm ever so grateful. The rumors I've heard about Lady Shinobukuni must be true. But I can tell you something. I don't do well around men. What is it like inside the temple? I'm not lying. I really do just hate men. I mean, I see a man cutting grass there, yes? Yes, men and women change in and out of the cleaning and cooking duties from day to day. However, the Gyoyu rooms are divided between men and women, so there's no need to worry. Gyoyu? Don't think too hard on it. No need to be afraid. It simply refers to a place where we meditate. Meditate? What was that? Meditate or copy our scriptures. I wouldn't be serving under any men, right? To be honest, just the other day, I thought I saw someone frightful looking man around here. Are you referring to Lord Asaimon? It's like, <laughs> success. <laughs> calm down, calm down. She might suspect something if I don't cool it. That might be him. Has he been here long? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm always in the women's room, so I don't know much about Lord Asaimon. You can look a little stern, but he is trusted by Lady Shinobikuni, so there's nothing to fear. All anime noises. <gasps> Here comes the bad guy. Well, until we see him on screen, I don't believe he's coming. That's definitely him. I see. I force focus myself to reply to him with a cheerful answer. I would love nothing more than to see Lady Shino Shino Bikuni at once, but I have to go and prepare my things first. I understand. Lady Shino Bikuni will be waiting. Thank you so much. I gave her a deep bow and see her off. And then I run on my tippy toes back to my friends.
Did you hear that? He's here. Hey, nice job. You were quite the actor back there. No, I was just being myself. Anyways, I'm glad I decided to ask about. They're here. Nice to meet you, daughter of King Enma. Ooh, what's she holding? G what's going on? When did they get here? No wonder Yona was scared about women lying. I didn't sense their presence at all. I didn't even hear their footsteps. Everyone get back. Hey! What are you doing? You can't. You're my subordinates, I'll protect you. I have a job. Idiot! Oh, we made Yona blush. Oh, actually, wait. Oh, are all of them blushing but the angry man with the long hair? I just realized. What a dumbass. What was that blushing? Yeah, all of them were blushing except for except for one. We have a girl Yona moment. <laughs> wow. She's so quiet in comparison. You may not be related by blood, but this has your father written all over it. Lord Enma loves the people of hell very deeply. She's terrifying. I was frustrated that I felt that way. All it took was a gentle smile from her to create such a tremendously intimidating presence. She was slender and delicate yet scary. Oh my, how rude of me not to introduce myself. I am, I am Shinobikuni Abus of the Kumonoi Temple. This here is Asamon Yamada. Big scary woman. She's not that big if you look at her compared to that guy. I don't know if we got her on the height or on the height chart or not. The man next to her was scary in a different way. Another biggie scary. <laughs> He didn't seem to be holding a weapon. Yet his eyes looked as if he might rip me apart if I utter a single word. Lovely pretty woman. I know, right? She looks like Shinobu almost. Or, yeah. Shinobu? Yeah. Daughter of King Enma. There's no need for such fear in your eyes. We have no intent on defying King Enma. We only wish to spread the word of the Buddhist teaching. Both Asimon, Asimon, and I were indeed saved by the heavenly realm. Is there anything wrong with that? I don't know. Your dress has spider webs on it. That just... I know. Spiders aren't evil, but in clothing, it typically indicates that you are evil. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying judging books by a cover is good, but <laughs> what's up with the butterflies in your hair? Like, what are you? You two tricked the heavenly realm then? Oh my, what a mean-spirited thing to say. I already told you, haven't I? All that we wish to do is spread the teaching of the Buddhism. Buddhish. Buddhism? 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 What are you planning? Why are you tricking these morons in the heaven realm? Stay away from the boys. 
evil Ada, Ada, Ada woman. I shall repeat myself again. I just want to save those who are suffering. Shut it. You're not going to talk your way out of this. Oh, is that what you really think? Why does he have a gun? Rift order. Ooh. Whoa. What the hell is this? Sensei no no. When did you get here? I figured none of you would listen to me despite my several warnings. This is a special barrier. We cannot cause trouble for humans in this area. Sensei no no, um Tokatsugokuna the crazed dog of the revival hell I thought that you might be the one to fire the first shot I know right if you need someone taken out I'm your guy Yona stop if he's first then I want to be second Kikinosuke we're gonna send you guys back to hell and get rid of these stupid cuffs. Stop it, you two. Shut up. Don't try and stop us. Me and Kukunosuke here will mop the floor with them. Let's go, Kiku. Let's do it. Why admit your weakness in front of the evil peeps? Listen. They're not thinking clearly. Yona, Murakami assigned to the Revival Hell Desire Reset Marathon. Yona Murakai's desire. When he runs out of bullets, he can automatically reload. He can use his power on any sort of weapon, toys included. That has uses ammunition. What a weird... Fall to hell with disgrace. Look at his hands! Guess he's gonna use the onsen first, these clowns. <laughs> oh god. Kikonosuke. Oh god. Assigned to the black rope hell desire, liar boy. Like how Prim and Perv said the same thing at the same time almost. Kikonosuke Uge's desire, he can turn into a wolf. He is able to hide his body and his surroundings, camouflaging himself. Fall to hell with regret. Fur, fur, furry, a furry? <laughs> That's a lot of swords. Attendant to Lady Shinobikuni. A summon Yamada. Des Desire workaholic. Not my boy Yona. Asmon Yamada Yamada's desire. He pulls out a number of swords out of nothing and is able to control them as he wills. But each blade disappears once they strike. All the blades he has tried out in the past appear with this ability. Huh. What? Battle start. Wait, what? Am I in a fight mode? What's that? That was the moment. All the hairs on my body stood on end. This person is strong. No, Yona, Kiku, get away. Go to hell. Bad and it fell? How am I in control? I didn't even... Am I gonna fight somebody? <gasps> ah! Before Sadaku could finish speaking, a sharp blade pierced through Yona's body. Yona! Yona! Ah! Yona! 
gonna suke. This is my gift. I can scream their names. Ah, no! It all happened so fast I could barely move. Before they got a word out, I saw the silver blade continue to its attack, cutting them mercilessly. <laughs> Kikunosuke! This isn't working. Stop! 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 <laughs> you idiot, don't go out there! As I was about to enter the fray, Goemon firmly pulled me back. Ooh! <laughs> Come on, at least give us a tattered clothes CG. Why is this like Mortal Kombat? Their clothes start to fall off as they get damaged. Oh. <laughs> as the two of them were about to hit the ground, Goemon and Sadaku jumped in to support them. <laughs> Oh no, hang in there. Hey, <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> is he passed out? Why are you saying his name so much? Clowns, man. Absolute clowns. I heard Enma patched a small team for us, but this is just laughable. <laughs> Shut it. <coughs> Disappointed. Aw. Gonosuke, don't speak, bro. You're coughing up blood. Red blood, deep red blood, stain their bodies of Yona and Kikunosuke. Blood, I see it all the time in hell, but my heart was going crazy. So much anger, sadness, and fear, I couldn't do a thing. <laughs> Do not approach Lady Shinobi Kuni again. Uh, Simon! A Simon, wait, you bastard. The two of them just disappeared. They were like a fog fading into the air. I told you not to attack him. I suppose you might listen to me from now on. Hydrate? What? No. Crazy. That's crazy. You gotta work on the font there. It's so tiny. <laughs> Cabbage. Huge. Font. Tiny. Sensei Nono? Kurishiki. <laughs> Damn it, this is nothing. This is the perfect moment for me to finally introduce you to the taxi man of hell. Hayai. Hayai? Sonna Chimamide no Sungata de Ningendo no Taxi ni notara. Untenj san Odokase de Shimai Maskarane. Getting into a normal taxi so full of blood would cause a commotion here in the human realm. Sasuke! Jigok Taxi to Gajoda y Tirbaika! Corporate slave, now is not the time for stupid jokes about Hell's taxis. Hello, Haya. Please hurry to Kumonoi Temple. We're in the back alley. Just as Sensei Nono hung up the phone. <laughs> it's it's Halloween Town. It's the guy from Halloween Town. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Really came? Apologies for making you wait. I'm Haya, Hell Taxi Man. Where would you like to go? Ishikawa, Toshusei, please put them in the car. Sensei, no, no. Will they be okay? You think they'll be okay, right? Well, they did already die once, did they not? Where's his funny bone? <laughs> All over. He is a funny bone. Oi, Takamura! Hontoni, it's a dajo, and a kayo! Kumakizanda, so! 
Takamura, are you sure they should go in? Didn't you see how badly injured they got? Don't you know they're both unconscious? If anything happens to them, I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah, just chuck them in. Will this really do it? This is this will work, right? Listen, I'm not that mean spirited of a person, although I suppose I'm not a person at all. Stop kidding around. You know what we're saying, don't you? If they don't get better, this is gonna be on you. Yona, get gonna suke. Sate, they were living the Ocha de Monominagara. <laughs> Watch it fix their clothes too, because yes, it's an all healing spring, whatever, t whatever uh, ails you. Let's watch, wait in the living room for some tea. Sensei, no, no. We just threw their unconscious bodies in a thing and pretended that they can breathe underwater. Yona and Kukunosuke were placed in the onsen. We watched them for a moment, and once we saw a little movement from them, we came back to the living room. They're like twitch, and they're like, alright, they're good. They're good. Please let me be let them be alright. I didn't anticipate this happening. I'm so frustrated. I haven't stopped trembling. And hell, people die and come back to life daily. This sort of thing isn't new to me at all. <sighs> Asa the slasher. Now we have first hand experience on how nasty he really is. You didn't believe he was before? He has no hesitation. Let me tell you one more, tell you more about him. Yamada Azaimontenoa, Stono Namaida, the Stono Namaizanai. The name Aziman Yamada refers to a person, but also it doesn't. O Tamishi Goyo, the Yu, Katana no Tamishi Giringa Moto no Nariwa Dena, Sto Kiruno Gaichiban Wakaria Sweet, the Kotode, Zain no Karada Utskata Wakada. They could have Googled this, right? If they really cared. <laughs> he was also known as the Blade Assessor, the test blades we would cut down. He would cut down human bodies. They were usually prisoners, and he did it often. A position of employment in the Edo period, working under the shogunate's magistrate, the person in this position would test the ability of blade weapons to cut using the bodies of dead prisoners. Yay! Whoa. But that's why the hand is required. That takes a lot of skills, and so rather than a familiar name, this name is passed down to those who have a strong ability to do that. Cutting a human down is as easy as cutting up some vegetables to a guy like him. No way. <laughs> Shinobikuni, she picked a really nasty one. Yamada Simon no Naoki Tatokara, Yana Yokanga Steta. Or silly guys. As soon as I heard the name Azaman Yamada, I knew we were in for the, some trouble. I just watched. I wish he would have gone a little easier on them. Jingokure Udega Namate the Kuretara Ina, Nante Kangaeva Amakatana. Was wishful thinking to believe he lost his edge after being in hell for so long. Neither Yona nor Kikinosuke would be able to hold their own against him. Even though I've never held a sword up against anyone, I already felt it in my bones that he was the last guy I wanted to fight. That's who we're up against. I bit my lip in worry. Whoa! Yona? What is it, Yona? What was that? Are you are they okay? Kikinosuke, he turned into a dog. Hey, look. He's protecting his, his nipples. Five minutes into the game and bros have already met the smurf. What smurf? Yo, 
Luna, cover yourself up. What's the big deal? So that the so that the Karewa Kigana Kirito, oh, coming in Adam this year. All right, he turns into a wolf when he realized I was looking for someone blue when he said it, honestly. A wolf? A wolf, like a real actual wolf? <laughs> it seems his desire manifested in such a form. He might have fainted, so let's pull him out. Is he a puppy? Can I see your puppy? I want to see a puppy. Oh, he really is a wolf. Look at him. Refers to a person with high ranking disguising as a low ranking player to bully beginners in that level. Oh. I see. That's not good. <laughs> Is this really Kikunosuke? I mean, crazier things have happened, I suppose. Boop his nose, I'm begging you. Oh, I've heard the term Smurf accounts. Oh, are you saying like if someone creates like an MMO, they're in an MMO or something. And they're like, oh, I'm new. But in reality, they like have a gun pointed at the back of your head and they already know all the kill blows. Is it? It is definitely Kikinosuke. I heard a moaning and then all of a sudden, right before my eyes, poof. You know, this creature does have the same hair color as Kikinosuke. Murakami <laughs> We already knew he was going to be the first, and yes, he was. Murakami, your wounds have healed. As the first user of the bath, please give us your review. <laughs> give him your Yelp review. It was a very pleasant bathing experience. <laughs> Silly Fred had flagged himself with a statement. Thank you so much for giving it a test run. This certainly proves its efficiency in the field. Please use it more as you progress your mission. What a. It sounds like we actually are playing like an online game right now. Like, enjoy! But... Sensei, no, no. Can this water. Can it be used to heal any sort of injury? You remember what I said, do you not? It draws from the same things that allow people to die and revive each and every day in hell. When people die, their bodies and souls are separated. Oh, wait. When people die, their bodies and souls are separated from each other. The body usually destroyed from cremation or de decay. However, if your soul is in hell, your body can be revived through hell's ecosystem. Without this, we would not be able to deliver everyone's their daily torture in hell. This particular power of hell is being delivered through this water, essentially. Water transfer transfers all sorts of things, after all, transfers or transforms. I never learned this back in school. But the two of them seem completely normal now, and I have the onsen to think for that. Now sit down next to him and pet his fur. However, 
However, please take note that there is a time limit on the healing and regeneration. If you do not enter the hot spring within 24 hours of receiving your injury, you will perish. What? I don't understand. No, no. <laughs> I don't understand. I just want a CG, please. A CG of not a mean guy, a really hot guy. Is it getting late? But since you all seem so eager for information, allow me to tell you something else about desires. The desires are something humans might think of as special or supernatural powers. The power depends on the qualities of its users. Naturally. There are those like Yuga who was born with innate wolf like features, or like Murakami's awakened from strong attachments or something. As you have seen, Azuman Yamada has a special power with a sword, just as he did in the job he carried while he was still alive. <laughs> That's just creepy. However, as difficult as it is to reconcile, something rather unexpected has happened. Unexpected? I don't like the sound of that. It applies to you all. Normally, while in hell, the use of desires are prohibited. You cannot use them while you are in hell and they are sealed. This is a present preventive measure. So none of you revolt against King Enma or the Hell Guardians. Don't tell me the spider thread just so happens to remove the seal. Well, it's the first time this has happened, but yes. And there are factors here I still do not understand myself. Not only has the seal been removed, but it would seem their powers have been strengthened here as well. Huh? That said, do not be afraid to dive right in. Get out there and let loose. Huh? What? This is really the first time I've seen this. There's so many unknown factors, but just try to do your best. He's like, bye guys, have fun. <laughs> really be struggling for a CG. Dude, I am forgetting what CGs look like. <laughs> Cut the shit, you corporate slave. Talking to me like that will not help you. Well, your flippancy isn't helping this either. At this rate, I might sell my soul for a single CG. Whew. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I clicked on it, but I didn't click on it. Hey, I am doing everything I can here. I have prepared a lovely place for you all to live, and I have even given you an onsen to help you do your best. Laura Dumb shaking my head. I'm tuned out for now. Honestly, it's a bit much. Like, you know, some of, I get it, but like three hours, three hours seems right. You know what I mean? 
I love lore dumps, I guess, but I feel like three hours of lore should be enough lore. And then the rest of the lore you kind of learn in the routes, like whichever ones affect that character in a sense. And they can do it Furche style where like the last one kind of covers all of the lores. Go Amon and the others frown in silent unison. The pacing's kind of off, yeah. Like, we don't know who gave her a sandwich. We've only had one CG of one of the boys. Typically when you get introduced to the boys, there's like a little scene for each of them. I haven't had it. I do get it. This isn't exactly a happy moment. That said, I won't be giving up now. Okay, we'll do our best. Yoroshi. Very well. Think things through, will ya? In any case, now that Yona and Kubunosuke are okay, I think we'll be alright for now. <laughs> Murakami -kun. Murakami? I wanna bake cinnamon rolls. If not, if I'm not fed, I'm making something myself, man. Or like, I thought you were gonna make a different kind of joke. Or like, I wanna bake cinnamon rolls because if I don't have one in the game, I need one in real life. Both CGY cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Cinnamon, is that, is that the joke? Murakami. What? What? I have no intention of lecturing anyone. This corporate slave has no time for fools who do not know how to listen. Now, <laughs> Now then, I have a lot to do, so I must be headed back to hell now. Cinnamon roll is my favorite baby. <laughs> I mean... Mathis was a cinnamon roll, and he was not my favorite baby, but... There's some out there that I like a lot. That corporate slave really let us have it. Well, he's still old. Man, Enma's right hand. He's only second to the top dog in hell. In any case, I'm glad you guys are back. I think Kiku fainted, but that was only because he was in the hot water for so long. Oh, who was it that fainted that said they did an onsen and fainted in the water? Hydrate! That's crazy! I don't know what would have happened. Urusai. Shut up. <gasps> don't Urusai me. Urusai yourself, sir. You shut up. Jay, you've accumulated 7k cabbages? Oh my god. I'm impressed. Prim, this make me stretch. Thank you for treating me like a houseplant. And then we go. <gasps> One, two, three. <sighs> Yona. Emergency, emergency. Redhead baby through a tantrum. <laughs> His pride must be shattered. Leave him. <laughs> Just goodness. I'm gonna step out for a little bit. The next thing I need to learn to do is, um, cause you can do, there is a word, polls and stuff or like predictions. And then you guys can earn uh, additional cabbages that way. Sensei Nono. I thought you might come after me. That's why I walked so slow for you. Thank you for everything today. I'm sorry that I'm just so incompetent. I did imagine one of these people rushing into things sooner or later. This lot is quick to pull the trigger. It's how they ended up in hell to begin with. <laughs> oh, I can't believe they lost so easily. Can't make Leah lose her glasses, but can she still read? The, the answer is... I will have to get closer to the screen. 
if I lose my glasses. That's why it's a challenge though. I'll be squinting. I'll look like that for like a good, good five minutes, but we'll have to put a timer on. <laughs> it's why it's 5k because it's, it's definitely a challenge. Make Leah struggle like the rest of us. I'm going to go. <laughs> I can't believe they lost so easily. Are we going to be okay? Like the title. <laughs> I've been struggling the whole time. You can't put struggle in the title. It's too funny. I want to, but I don't have enough. Poor Leah. I don't want to make your eyes worse. My eyes are so bad. My, I don't know. I need to take that thing where it tells you how bad it is. I am nearsighted specifically. Which means things further away uh, get blurry. And it's about, I would say about to here. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me go this way. I'm going to hit my desk. It's about to here that things start to get blurry for me. So it's not very far. It just takes takes a little bit. And then I'm blind. I'm so blind. Um, I once was getting a haircut and I had someone get mad at me because I didn't recognize them. Because I didn't have my glasses on and I couldn't see their face. I'm just like, I don't know who you are like I'm blind I'm I'm Velma this is not what you came to tell me though is it I'm so nearsighted almost minus nine yeah I don't know what the percentage is or whatever the number is for mine I'll have to double check when I get my glasses redone I'm gonna get them redone soon because I do it once a year um and I'll probably actually get more frames I'm blind as a bat high five we're all blind It's great. It's great. It's a. Uh, it's genetic, but it's great. That's not what you came to tell me, though, is it? Nearsighted plus one. I want to meet someone who's farsighted. I don't know if I've ever met someone who's farsighted. I want to understand how it gets blurrier the closer it gets to your face. I just don't get. It's interesting. I'll get there. Blue's like I'm. I'll take the challenge. I'll become blind. I have that kind of eyesight that gets worse every year. So. Am I just being a busybody right now? My dad's farsighted. What's that like? I don't understand. Like, he's like, oh, look at those mountains. Gorgeous. What does this note say? <laughs> he can't see small letters on his mail and phone sometimes. Ah. Interesting. Am I just being a busybody right now? Um... <laughs> About what you said to Yona. Did I say something wrong? I chased after him impulsively, but I thought he might be a little nicer to me. I can't bring myself to say it. No, this failure came from the top down. I'm gonna make sure to lead them better so that this doesn't happen again. Ooh. In the meantime, I'm going to return to hell and give King Enma my report about today. Uh, they deliberately went against my guidance and sustained injuries I have to, correct? Yeah, that's right. I'm truly so sorry. Ooh, what a sign. Like, what a... If apologies solved everything, there would be no need for hell. Like, nor King Enma. What there? But like, no. Ooh, that's a, that's a good one. I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. Good day. Okay, no, no. <laughs> Bye. Um, in an instant, without sound, without disturbing the air in the slightest, Sensei Nono disappeared in demon flames. I have to pull myself together. I swallowed a sigh before it escaped and started walking back towards the house. Takamura, no yaro. Takamura that bastard. Ooh. I got it. I got the, the sketchy sky. Chief, I hope you feel better. I'm sorry, Tama. 
It's nice of you to try and console me like this, but I feel like I've been dropped down to the eternal hell, the very lowest layer of it all, and I can't find the strength to get back up. I understand how you feel, Chief. I feel so pathetic and frustrated and scared, I can't shake it. Have some bone jerky, you'll feel better. Have this skin that has been stretched. You can have it, Tama. I glared at the poster, poster of Father and I put in my room. Taking it out on Father and Sensei Nono isn't going to make me feel better either. But that was... That was just... Yona and Kikinosuke. I feel so bad for them. You do? Really? Meow. Since when did you start caring about them so much, Chief? Meow. Was your creed to never trust a prisoner, to never trust a man? Didn't you say that, Chief? Oh. Uh, well. These dumb guys have been so mean to you. They deserve to get beat up over and over, if you ask me, Chief. Meow. Hama, how could you say that? Meow. Meow. <sighs> this was a bit harsh, wasn't it? I'm sorry for yelling at you, Tama. That's not it, I just... Did I just speak up for them? That's not what I meant. Tama, I don't think that's mean for them. Just silly boys acting silly and rebellious. Chief, that's so mean. Tama. I've been your servant all this time, but you just... You don't care about me anymore. That is not true. I am sorry. Chief, coming to the human world, it really changed you. The guys are clowns, but we need funny circuses in the world that... <laughs> You're worried about prisoners. You're even sad about them. You aren't the same chief you were back in hell. Meow. <laughs> okay. Tama, look. Look, some bone jerky. Look, bone jerky. The world's boring enough. Let the guys be clowns. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good boy. Don't cry anymore, okay? I've changed after coming here. Those guys are the problems. Meow. I'll go punish them with a good bite. Meow. Wait, wait. You can't stop me. You've got it all wrong. I'm the same person. Meow. I just want to do my job. Meow. Listen, if something happens to them, it'll affect any evaluation of me and my ability to manage people, wouldn't it? It makes total sense to worry about me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to find a way to make sure these men make it out of here in one piece. I'm okay. I haven't forgotten who I am. I am Moana. Forget not your pride, trust not the prisoner, punish not with hesitation. See? These are the basics, right? Well, maybe I don't have to worry about you if this is how you feel. Not all of them are 
big sundere. <laughs> Thank you for understanding, Tama. Is that in the game? What is the sound? I think my sister's computer is making music. Okay. These guys are still dumb, though. Meow. Don't forget that. Meow. CG, please, game. I'm starving. <laughs> of course, I absolutely hate the... Hate. Hate. I'm gonna go take a bath. You go ahead and get some rest. Aniki? Chief! No. <laughs> She wasn't able to say she hated them. Hate's a strong word. I guess she leaves me no choice. I'm gonna bite them right where it hurts. If I do that, they won't be able to harass the chief. Okay, I'm on the case. Save us, CG. Save us. Something's wrong. What happened to me? Those men are prisoners and heinous criminals, so I shouldn't bother. It shouldn't bother me at all that they get hurt or upset, right? Not in the slightest. I'm so pathetic. I'm completely overwhelmed with myself. I haven't changed at all. Nothing at all has changed. I still hate men. Let them perish, bite them where it hurts. The forehead, right, Prim? That's exactly what they meant when they said that. Oh my gosh. They still hate men, let them perish. But there's nothing wrong with worrying about them just a little tiny bit, right? Is he still a dog on the couch? Go pet him. I do feel a little better after getting in the bath for a while. I could use some water, though. With someone in the living room? You wear glasses? Oh my god. I've been wearing them the whole time, Sadaku. Uh. The moment I open the door, the gaze of the two men pierce through me. Wow, you really look different. Okay. Yes, I wear glasses. I guess you haven't seen me in them before. Being a Hell Guardian is very physical. Wearing contacts is a lot easier when you have to run through steam and raining blood. Eh? Guess something like that can't be healed. Huh? I mean, we all died once already. These bodies are supposed to be new, right? The injury those two are two had all healed up. You think they'd be able to fix someone's eyesight if they really wanted? Now that you mention it, you're right. It's not a meta well, okay, okay, count. It's something you're born with, and thus it's not something that can be healed. I'm assuming that's also the rule for in Kanto. I adjusted my glasses. It feels awkward. Lots of people wear glasses in hell. Maybe people's bodies get regenerated back to how they were before they died. Sure, maybe that's it. I'm not an expert, so don't quote me. My eyes... Huh? Somehow reminds me of something. Oh, hey, are Yona and Kikunosuke okay? Jiyoman and Sada... Sadaku were the only ones here. Kikunosuke sulking in bed, Yona's running. By running, you mean he went for a jog? 
I'm sure he wants to feel better. I see. この先のことを考えないとな。策なしにやりあっても、次は俺とゴエモンがムクロになるだけだ。We have to think of what to do now. If we go at them without a plan, me and Geomon are just going to end up as corpses. Yay, corpses! Uh. There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you heard anything about the deepest part of the north side of the first floor here? The deepest part of the first floor. My room is on the south side. The guest area is on the west facing side. Why is something there? I think there's a hidden room. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. <gasps> is Jack here? Did Jack really bring me food? <laughs> What's it doing here? You don't know about it either? Right here. If you look closely, it bulges up a little bit, right? If you press on it. A keyhole? Can't believe you found this. That's our great thief for you. I've tried all sorts of stuff, but it doesn't seem like it'll open. They didn't tell me anything about this at all. It won't open with my skills. I assume either the great king or the corporate slave put some kind of seal on it. A seal? Shkashi, nandate kakshiya? Masaka wotakaraga nemutterutte wake demo nasa so daga. But a hidden room doesn't seem like there'd be a treasure lying in there or something. Sorry, don't know. Keep doing the green eye. You guys don't have any more than you know. Not even a man do that. Can you look into this? The last thing I want to deal with here is a surprise yokai or something. Sure, I can ask about it. Onsen no tsugi wa karakuri beya ka yo. Dou natte na kono iye. The onsen and now the secret room. What the hell is up with this place? Well, at least it's not boring, right? Anyways, I'm gonna step out for a bit. Shitori de. By yourself? Where to? Doesn't fucking matter. The grocery store, it's nearby, right? I'll come with you. I need bleach. <laughs> uh, dude, I know you're the cleaning person, but when you say that, it sounds scary. I'm free. I'll tag along, too. Sensei, Thomas Lecture. Second Lecture. Goki Meow! Hello, everyone. While Chief is out shopping, allow me to give you a little lesson about how things work in hell. Today's lesson is about Mume and Hell Guardians. Mume refers to the state of a soul's vanishing in worlds. In words of the human realm refers to the soul departing. In hell, each time a dead person is revived, the soul wears down and eventually enters Mume. These souls are able to be reincarnated. As you surely noticed earlier today, Lord Aka and Lord Pochi were injured to the brink of death, but were revived using the onsen. No, not more lectures. Show me them shopping. Yeah, I agree. That's ridiculous is something you might have thought, yes, but this might surprise you. This happens very often in hell. <laughs> so you take this and it's like Asia and and Prim and then it's like red haired boys torture for the most part is a painful and agonizing that prisoners die easily However, it's ridiculous 
ridiculous that a punishment should end after only one day, so that's why we revived them, as Lord Takamoto explained. Why me? What did I do? Nothing. You've never you've never teased a redheaded boy before. Keeping an eye on you. If I chomped them, that wouldn't be enough punishment, so we bring them back to normal the next day so I can chomp them again. Meow. Well, they don't go back to normal per se. Every time someone revives, their soul gets worn down just a little bit more and they eventually enter a state of mume. Imagine if they just explained this in a paragraph. What if they just showed someone be going into Mume? What if there had been a six guy, right? Just a six guy. He could be normal. It could be a girl even. Um, and during that fight, they entered the state of Mume because their body got so broken down. And then we wouldn't need this lecture. It could have just been explained. <laughs> and we would have been curious as to why there was this person that wasn't in the trailers or in the videos or pictures. And then that happens and we'd go, oh. This is close to what you humans recognize as a soul departing and a soul that becomes Mume will be reincarnated elsewhere. Lord Taro and the others are a peculiar group that have yet to succumb to these tortures. To not have disappeared for so long means they have really powerful attachments and lingering connections to the world. Those who have the eternal, those who come from eternal hell are the trash of all trash. So what's a guy like that doing hanging out with Chief? Where did you come from? I was watching the whole time. Asia uh, likes to listen. If she hears her name, she pops up sometimes. <laughs> this is my time, and I'm going to punish anybody who would try and do Chief wrong. <sighs> the lesson's not over yet. This could have been an email. That's right. I'll use myself as an example to explain something to you about Hell Guardians. The other day, I mentioned killing a single being is considered a sin, but it isn't worth the cost of keeping people in Hell for a very long time. I went through my dresses to see if there's any more clothes I need to get rid of. Asia's out here doing her spring cleaning. Being a hell guardian pays well. Since technical skills is required, the cost of torture devices and equipment must be considered as well. I'm not scared. It's just like I was drop kicked into hell because of my undying trust for baby girl food. <laughs> Small time sinners get smacked around in hell for a little bit, but then they write a letter of repentance and are turned into Mume. And basically, it's out of that pool of prisoners that we scout the hell guardians. My case was a little different, though. I asked the Lord to be by Chief's side. Meow. Cats and snakes go through a rigorous recruitment process for Soate Palace, so I was pretty lucky. Meow. Meow. Why are they recruited for Sote Palace? They punish those who commit sins of lust, so they need good chompers over there. Meow. 
あっしは人間にいじめられたのでいつか報復するのが夢なのですね<笑> Did we need that? Did I need a picture to explain it? This is what happens. God, I was harassed by humans and my dream is to have revenge on them someday. Meow. Dewa, Kogi wa kore de shuryo desu nya. Ashi no kotoba o yoku oboe te oku no desu nya. This lecture is over. Meow. Remember what I taught you here. Meow. I will never forget this. Ashi mo supa ni ikita katta. Omiyagi ga aru to in nya. I wish I went to the grocery store too. I hope they get me something. Meow. This is the closest to a CG. True, true dad. This is our CG now. I wish I had gone to the grocery store. There it is. Oh, I pressed the button a second too late. Wow. So this is the human roam grocery store, maze market. Don't go in there. That is not a good name for a grocery store. So much bigger than the ones I've seen in movies. Your eyes are sparkling. Shopping is so fun. I'm excited because it's my first time here, but we really can't be wasting any money. How much money you got? Ooh, grocery stores, what an amazing concept. The things they stock here are different than what you can find in Hell's Market District. Colorful fruits, adorable boxes of sweets. You can even get a bite to eat in the back of the store. Mr. Lord Hell Guardian, can you cook? I've learned how. Cereal and instant food is easy to prep, but having Kiku the glutton with us will be pricey. It might be best if we cook ourselves. Good point. We should meal prep with them. I'm sure you want to look around first. Since it's your first time here, let's meet up at the entrance in half an hour. <gasps> Do I meet Jack now? What if I run into Jack in a grocery store? How romantic. He's being very considerate again. I imagine he's used to being with women. Of course he is. He's a heinous criminal sentenced to eternal hell. It's obvious he's been around a woman or two. No, no. Focusing on Geomon is, or anyone else for that matter, is a total waste of time. What I need to do is keep looking around the store. Geomon's voice is so soothing. It's a shame he doesn't know how to handle a conversation. It's crazy you haven't even had a choice yet and there's only been two CGs. I feel it in my soul. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Whoa, you brought a ton. I thought you weren't supposed to waste any money. You think so? I saw some snacks for cats that Tama might like, so... Hand me that bag. Fine, I can carry my groceries. I'm a strong girl. I can't look weak in front of the prisoners. Don't be stubborn. We're helping here. Doesn't he look like somebody from a different game? Is the cat boy from Collar X Malice like his? I don't know. We're helping here. No thanks. Oi. You think you're going to look weak in front of the prisoners or something? Listen, you invited yourself, okay? I was coming alone. Ah, that's right. That's Yeah, I see. That's it. Yeah, I'm sure you're too good to ask for help from us lowly prisoners. <sighs> that's not what I meant. I'm going to head back. Good luck with the bags. Rude. Yoman walked beside me. He didn't say a word, though. I smelled the scent of winter Daphne's coming from somewhere again tonight, and for some reason I had the faintest urge to cry.
Effects of the Hell Onsen. Oh. I don't think we're going to get a CG today, guys. I'm getting I'm getting to the point where I doubt it. I'm going to assume this is first five effects. Wait, wait. Are these chapters? Is that what that chapter was called? What am I? I'm so confused already. I also spelt this wrong. I put motley. It's motley, isn't it? I don't understand the stages. I'm a bit lost. Prim says to hydrate. Wow, and I was happy long hair came along. I feel like the <sighs> hydrate first. I don't I almost put the lid back on. <sighs> I feel like everything that's happening doesn't have to happen. Does that make sense? Okay, when telling a story, right? And this is a curse of, of writing, people get distracted when they're writing and they want to go explain things. But if it doesn't help your story you don't need it did the grocery shopping help the story nothing happened of importance there except she didn't want to ask for help we've already established she doesn't like asking people for help we learned nothing all we did was have a tama chat which could have been explained way shorter i don't understand i feel like i feel like it's dragon they're, they drag and they feed. And I don't I don't think you need to have a very long game just for the sake of saying you had a very long game. If it's slowing the pace and making the whole thing just feel like it's letting, I don't know, there's just so much. I don't know. If you say, hold on, Pervel, I've been calling them Perv this whole time getting late at my place the only thing keeping me awake now is the thought of seeing yona and the game just straight up refuses to give us cgs i'm immensely sad the pacing is killing me yeah it's killing me too i assumed she was gonna go to the market by herself and run into yona i thought there was gonna be a yona cg because she said he was out running because imagine she went to the market and on her way back she runs into yona and then maybe yona offers to hold her bag and she still refuses she still says no i don't want you to hold my bag and he's like shut up and he just takes the bag from her and then that would have been so cute and then that could have been a cg of her getting her bag held or something you know do it for yona <laughs> good god like i don't get it this is such so strange and then like the scene where they finally show jack like <laughs> why, why did why even have that moment if there was nothing going to happen within like the hour or two after why did they even show the market if there was no lore dump beforehand both were kind of pointless i don't know i feel like someone the pacing's all weird i don't know if the like, well, there's so much lore in this i'm a little lost if i'm being honest it's the morning already how am I supposed to treat Yona and Kikunosuke moving forward anyway? After what happened yesterday, how am I supposed to talk to Jiomon and Sadaku? Honestly, it'll be hard to talk to anyone. The lore is not luring. <laughs> yeah. Also, Tama isn't helping either. Like, Tama's making her feel bad for feeling bad. Like, like don't do that. Tama's not useful. Is Tama good? I don't know. I Honestly, I don't even think Tama's that cute. Just pretend they don't exist. Meow. Don't say that. See, you are worried about them. Tama, I didn't even want you to come, okay? I told you this isn't worry. I'm only ensuring high marks on my evaluation. Right, sure you are. Just talk to them like normal. They explain things that are already obvious. I'm not a child, sir. I can think sometimes. Or they explain things too much. We didn't need all that. 
like I said, they could have had like an extra character who did not survive, and then we could have understood the reincarnation thing right away. They'd be like, they got sent to da da da. They're gonna get reincarnated now. That's all we needed. A man's heart is naive. Meow. If you start caring too much, it'll it's like rubbing salt in their wounds. Meow. Salt, yeah, that might be true. Okay, I'll just pretend like everything's normal. But will they? Good morning. Oh, hi -oh. Morning, you want some coffee? Sure, I'll have some. Thanks. Hyomon seems like normal. As for Yona and Kikunosuke. Okay, this zombie game is insane. Hell, Makra Party is so cool. Macabre, what? A video game popular in the human realm, a game where the players fight against the deceased and hell guardians who turned into zombies in order to survive. Only if I can use Geomon's blade to cut the lore dumping off a bit. <laughs> the Hell Guardians and the prisoners are all zombies, and you have to kill them all with a machine gun. <laughs> that sounds fun. I should play it. You're gonna get hooked. It's basically why I came to the human realm. VIP hell, what? Dong! And here, this is my Markrab's VIP card. Kikonosuke pulled out a flashy card that was colored red, black, and gold. This is for a year. This is proof that whoever has this card stayed in the fifth place or higher for over half a year. Only 10 people in all Japan have this, and I'm one of them. Me. They seem normal, like nothing happened. But something doesn't feel right. Kiku, can you make money from that game? He's a gambler, I keep forgetting. You can't make money on it, but if you kill some of the secret enemies on bonus levels, you'll get some rare items. I think I can do it this time. Then I'll get the giant Kuzaman. Kumazan. Kumazan? The mascot character of Hell's Mercar Party. Oh. This time, do you come to the human realm often, Kukunosuke? Eh? Huh? <laughs> right, then why- that's right, why would else would you be a VIP card holder of this game? Yeah, I come here a ton for like, errands and stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, so, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro stole that, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> didn't think of it that way. I just assumed something else. Oh, God. Thank you for waiting, my Lord Hell Guardian. One strong coffee. What if he only died recently? What if he's actually a very young dead person? Thank you. It smells great. I savored this hot drink as Geomon pulled out his phone. Lord Hellguardian, if you have some time, you should read this blog. Geomon messaged me a link to a website. Asakusa Trash. Updated information on Macarb. Hello, Alan Smitty here. There are new updates to the guide of weapon restriction playthrough for experienced players of Macabre. Asakusa Trash. Oh, this is the thing that those girls were talking about. Oh, 
It's a popular blog in the human realm. It's pretty good. I read it often. We've got something in common, Giamon. I'm a huge fan. They post about new shops, popular food. It has all the best recommendations. It's mostly about Asakusa, but there is also a section in there dedicated to Macabre. Blog. I'm sure you studied plenty about humans while in hell, but it's a, it's good to keep up with these sorts of things while you're we're here. Is that dawn breaking outside my window? I'm so sorry, perv. <laughs> What's that? Can you hear the birds chirping? You're right, thanks. I'll read it later. Sensei Nono's calling. <laughs> yes, good morning. Good morning, you sound like you're awake. I'm so sorry to bother you so early in the morning. Did something happen at Koromonoi Temple? Guys turning reddish. It could be a lot of things. Actually, we don't have enough help over at the amusement park. I was hoping I could get one guy and one girl to help out today. Amusement park? There's a theme park down on Enma Street called the Asakusa Hell Mansion. Discord mensch message oh i just checked discord that's funny <gasps> pretty princess magical garden is on sale right now i shouldn't be spending money i'm supposed to be responsible <laughs> it even has like a thing saying, hey, the price is low. It says it's 26 for me. Wait, what are you seeing? How are you seeing it so cheap? Oh, it's 20 for you. Interesting. On mine, it still says it's 28. <gasps> it's not a digital version, is it? I've heard of that place. It's definitely uh, a game. I still need to play the other princess game. Honestly, I could play them both. Oh, somehow I need to have a day where I'm not doing is physical i shall get it then i don't know why mine's is literally saying it's 27 though i'm not sure why it's cheaper for you why does it hate me what the heck i shall give you details when you arrive so please come as soon as you can sure no no did he just mention uh, amusement park? Yeah, he wants a guy and a girl to, I still have Discord open. I just, <laughs> I was like, what's on my screen? He wants a guy and a girl to help out at once. An amusement park? Who the hell would go to a place like that? Seriously, what even kind of help is he talking about? We're here on an order to capture escapees. Don't lump us in with the other prisoners around here and make us do their work. I don't want to go. I hate big crowds. They're all so selfish. Okay, I'll go. We've already hung out with you, Geomon. I need to hang out with somebody else. I already know you. Okay, we're kindred spirits. We both like black coffee. You're hot. I don't... <laughs> you will. That'd be great. 
Cutie Cuckoo was pouting. Aww. Here we are. Oh, you're going through a shop direct link? Hopefully it's a US version. I guess so. It's the CD cover. <laughs> Out of nowhere, a large figure in a costume towered over us. It hands us a map. Oh, is this is where Ten Goku comes from? I don't know. It's Hell's Charming Mascot, Meowster Goku. Sussy Mascot. No, no, his name's Meowster Goku. That's not sussy. There's nothing strange about that. The mascot character of Hell's Mansion, a theme park in Asakusa Special Ward. Meowster Goku nodded. I see. Thank you very much. Nalster Goku bowed and walked away. Look at all the plushies in the background. <laughs> it's pretty big in here. Wow, they have something called the Blood Pond. Oh, perfect. That's for all of us women to go to, right? Like in hell. That's crazy. You know, I really didn't picture a trip to the amusement park as a possibility for today. Yeah, I'm sorry to put you through this. No need for that. I did want to check it out. I think I just wanted to get a better idea of what Asakusa is all about. Okay, Boomer Geoma. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, let's just try and make this like an investigation. Wow, Oh wow, you two look so great. Look like real crew members. <gasps> Costume change? Thanks. Thank you. Oh, she's got a little Oh my god. They they have a and a but and a thing in their hair. She looks like she looks like she's from they look like oh god. Tulip bound Hanako chan. Where is Jack? Game, come on! I had a hunch, though. Ishikawa, I thought you might be the one to come. Where is Jack? Oh gosh, Oss. Everyone else thought it would be a hassle. Jack, did they really forget about Jack? No shit. <laughs> Oh god, Jack isn't even real. Jack's a figment of our imagination. By the way, did you manage this amusement park on top of everything else you do? Not exactly. This place does have its own management and owners who are all happen to be human. Finding Jack is like, where's Waldo? Except he's not there. It's, it's well, where's Waldo? But someone uh, did that fun little thing where they found Waldo, then took pens and like made him fade into the background. So he's actually not there. However, I am responsible for everyone who comes here to the human realm and I must procure replacements for any missing personnel. You do all that? It sounds like a lot, so much work. That is precisely why you two helping is so appreciated. Thank you for this. I may just ask you for your assistance again in the future. Maybe you should try and be a little more responsible for how you staff this place. The model prisoners who come to the surface are generally close to be being Mume. Right here. We didn't need that lecture. This would explain it. We would have been done. Oh, so you get it? I do not have authority to stop that process. Mume. A long time ago, a legend passed down through the imagination in hell saying that torture lasts trillions of years. 
地獄に行けば果てのない苦痛が続くから逃れるためには徳を積みなさいと教えたわけですね。Endless people were taught that if you were sentenced to hell, your pain would continue endlessly and that salvation was earned through good deeds. ですが、実際は少し違います。However, that's a bit different from the truth. 罪人は責めくにより、毎日死に、毎日生き返るが、その繰り返して、少しずつコンパクがすり減ってゆく。We're getting explained it again! We just had a cat tell us this. What do you mean? <laughs> the prisoner dies every day from their torture, and although they are revived every day as well, each revival wears down their soul bit by bit. We didn't need the cat lecture. Guys! <laughs> they eventually reach Mume and are born again in a brand new life. It's more uncommon that someone would exist in hell all the way to the end of their, se- their sentence. <sighs> まあ、人間たちが想像する成仏のようなものですよね。And well, the way it happens is that the soul departs from the world as humans imagine they do. ですが、However, それに引き換え、君たちはどうでしょう You lot are peculiar, are you not? これも一般論ですが。未練や執着が強いものほどそのコンパクはしつこく長持ち。Maybe the real Tengoku struggle is the lore dumping we had to go through.Oh <笑> God.It hurts.It hurts.There's a theory that says if someone's attachments are strong enough, their soul will be able to hold out for much longer.I'm about to commit chomp. If more lore is re explained, Ishikawa, how long have you been in hell? Your lingering attachments must be strong. It seems so. Maybe it's because I still want to beat up both you and King Enma real bad one day. Hey, Goemon! それは嬉しいですね。ということは、この先もずっと元気でいてくれるでしょう。Honestly, that delights me to hear. It means you'll have energy for a long time to come. どうも。Sure. Sensei, no, no. We had a question. There's a room on the far end of the first floor. We were wondering how to open it. おや、気づきましたね。So you noticed? Or going on, did I pursue? Just tell us how to open it. もしかしてそのうち必要になるかなと思って用意した部屋なんです。I ready that room for all of you thinking you might need it in the near future. 君たちが心の底から求めた時に。It'll open when your hearts need it. Is it a wedding room? Wink, 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 sex dungeon? Yeah, you got it. You get the, you get the gift. I went with the, the more <laughs> user friendly word, but yeah. Then Goku struggle more like Brant. Lore explanation struggle. Oh, God.、Oh, it hurts so much. It only opens when your heart needs it to. Wink, wink, wink. So you multi but the ego to shake a hino. Seki dungeon scandalous. Aren't you able to answer questions in a way that isn't annoyingly cryptic? When our hearts need it to, what's in there? A bed. では今日はゴエモンゴールドロンを手伝っていただきます。Enough about that. Today we will be helping me at the Geomon Cauldron. は、huh? What? こちらです。This way. The Geomon Cauldron? Is this little cauldrons that spin in a circle? It's like the teacups, except he died. そうです。石川ゴエモンが処刑された時の釜をモチーフにした。Fifty shades. Indeed, it is a teacup ride made in the motif of the cauldron used in the execution of Geomon Ishikawa. Presenting Geomon's cauldron. Look at the skeletons in the background. I always knew you and old man Enma were pretty sick, but this is absolutely insane. 
This concept actually came from the humans. The struggle of what is the CG and lore dumping. <laughs> they got them backwards. They're like, people love lore. And the truth was actually, people love CGs. <laughs> There's such a disrespect to the rock, but I love it. CG struggle. Oh, God. Imagine being asked to come help out and it's literally a ride named after you and all you're getting to watch is people spin in a circle going wee when you yourself are covered in bandages from the burns from being boiled alive. You, Jiyomon Ishikawa, may be the most popular villain to ever have existed. Huh. This this attraction is very popular too. Do you see how many people are lined up for it? He's right. And so the men will guide the customers in and out while the ladies are the handlers. Ah, uh, by handlers, I mean they handle the ticket exchange for this attraction. Your replacement should be coming in the afternoon, so do your best until then. Oh my god, we're closer. You're blocking the cutest ride. I'm beat. I can't believe how many customers we had. I guess I'm just that popular. Good job. I'm glad they all had fun. Just what the hell is so fun about spinning around in a cauldron made for execution? Dude, guess what? Your death became a funny ride in a park. Oh god. Well, of course you'd say that, Goemon. I liked it though. I want to come as a customer. To the cauldron. She's blushing. Why is she blushing? No, it's not. I misspoke. Uh, so. Sure. That was so ridiculous of me to say. <sighs> the human realm is awful. There are way too many fun things to do here. I knew we came to the amusement park to work, but I'm having a big, I have bigger things to think about. I feel bad for Yona and Kikunosuke, but. He was just so much stronger. Running around here today was a good workout. Running, oh gosh, surprisingly, I can thank Takamura for once. I started to reread the beginning. Hey, do you have a problem with Sensei Nono? It's not that I have a problem with him. But as King Enma's right hand man, he's basically our mortal enemy. I guess that makes sense. To be honest, it feels like Sensei Nono actually likes everyone. Though that's just a hunch and people lie all the time. My gaze wandered towards Geomon Geomon's back when. Goemon? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look at his earring! <laughs> you're going, Mon, aren't you? And you're just here in the human realm? Shiroku? Shiroku? That's right, I'm the one. Sussy guy? Yeah, it's me. I never thought I'd see you here. That must, they must know each other, right? Shiroku? 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 It's really actually Shiroku? It really actually is me. Wow, you look so mature now. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I was in hell too, you know? Hell? Hell? Rumor of you being in eternal hell even reached the great screaming hell where I was. Man, that Jack enjoyers having the equivalent of torture. 
Man, I had hoped it was Jack. Come on, game. Oh, goodness. That's so true. You know what? Uh, I miss Jack. I don't even know who he is, honestly. But I couldn't bring myself to go there. The Great Screaming Hell. That's where the worst liars end up. He seems really friendly with Geomon, though. Did he lie to Geomon? That I'm saying Geo, it's Goey. <laughs> it's Goey. I just realized I have dyslexia. I didn't just realize that. I was really hoping I'd see you again someday. Prim, you have our condolences. Also, Asia has our condolences. Asia's also sad. Man, what a surprise. I can't believe I'd run into you at an amusement park of all places. You went to the Great Screaming Hell for lies. It was my duty. After I left the village, I served a lot of people. I told a lot of lies, and if ordered, I even killed. Which? <laughs> Where is. We summoned her back. Where is Jack? But but I was able to repent for that in hell. Now I'm a model prisoner working in the human realm. I'm in charge of security. Little squabbles are bound to happen in a place like this. See. Don't look so down. Leave the past in the past. We've already died, so let's work on being happy this time around, eh? I feel like that was the quote they had in his bio. Not even five out of twelve chapters of the common route. The thing is real strong. Did you say there's twelve chapters in the common? We're on chapter five. Are you for real? It's okay, Asia. Just rest for now, and Jack will someday appear. D there's 12 chapters? <sighs> we are, are we even going to get into a route by the end of next week? Like, don't look so down. <laughs> yeah, right. Happy this time around. That's right. i Hey, it's not every day we run into each other. Why don't we go get some food at Kotsugahara? No, I have to. Oh no, don't mind me. I'll leave. Goemon, you might as well go, right? Like you said, it's not every day you're here. Uh, huh. He's someone you know, right? Don't worry about me. And there are some things I wanted to buy, anyways. Yeah, demo. But, dude, read the room. He wanted you to say, yeah, let's go, and grab him by the arm and run away. Wait! Oh, I thought maybe he'd know her. I'm so sorry. You're acquainted with Goemon, I see. Wait, don't tell me she's your girlfriend. No, I'm Leah Enma, assigned to the Enma Palace. I am Goemon Superior. Enma? Enma. You mean you're his daughter? My mental stability stays strong for Yona. I know you can do it. My mental stability pull through. My mental stability. What's that? I'm gonna have to end my stream soon. I have about 10 ish minutes before I have to get ready to leave. My sincerest apologies. My game. My name is Shiroku Naitori from the Great Screaming Hell. Shiroku deeply bowed his head. I've heard of you, but only by name. Someone like me doesn't have much of a connection to the Enma Palace. You see. 
I'm just dead. I'm not stable. This is the first time I've ever said this. This is the worst common route ever. Asia, ever? Is it 12 chapters, though? I really need to know. I think a couple people said that the common route was very long, which I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. It's been six hours and we haven't had a choice yet. I'm so sorry. I just couldn't help myself after seeing a familiar face after so long. Please, there's no need to apologize. No, it's very rude of me. <laughs> I could really see the joy in you. Well, I'll take my leave then. And she runs. Oi. Hey! I wave my hand and rush off. Bye! Bye, Goemon! When was the last time we got a CG? Ever. As if ordered. There are many different types of sins. The sentences is different between killing of your own will and being coerced into doing it. I really shouldn't pry. If I think about it, Yona, Saraku, and Goemon have all killed someone before too. They're all heinous criminals after all. Like to, yeah, when was the last time we had a CG? The last time we had a CG, actually that's not true. We did get a CG in this one, but it was of the bad guy. Oh, this is a stage. Holy shoot. I have to leave soon, guys. If he shows up right now, that's going to be funny. I was just about to leave when it happened. I'm so sorry. I wasn't looking where I was. Should I stop here? Should this be where we end? Is this Jack's introduction? <sighs> I have to go to work. I can't not go to work. I'll get in trouble. Is it Jack? <sighs> Should we find out? Should I leave it as a cliffhanger? Should we find out later? Blue says cliffhanger. I'll be playing. So yeah, please. <laughs> we'll not know. Want to find out tomorrow? We can find out tomorrow. I'll be playing tomorrow again for about the same amount of time. Let's see. Um, do it for Jack Enjoyers. Do it for Jack Enjoyers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a gesture, guys. No, no, it's completely fine. What is that? See, it would have been funnier tomorrow. It could still be Jack, right? It's not Jack. <laughs> it just says young gesture. Could it be Jack? I mean, it could be. It's an Archul clone. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that is. This is bull. <laughs> it's a clown. Oh goodness. Well, we'll find out more about him tomorrow. <laughs> That's so sad. We were so I was I was convinced it was gonna finally be him. She's like, when I ran into a clown. I ran into a clown. Who knows? Who knows when we'll see Jack again? Or if we'll actually see Jack in real life. What if Jack is just an obsession she has and she just starts watching his like performances all the time and going to his uh, fan events and she actually never actually dates him? And it's just a weird Jack is jacked. <laughs> so sorry guys. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, no. Well, I mean, if Asia's crying, it seems like the perfect time. I will combust in anger. Uh, imagine if we waited till tomorrow and everyone's like, oh, it's Jack. And then it's this. It's not Jack at all. But I will be streaming about the same time tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll be leaving about the same time tomorrow. I'm so sorry, guys. At least we suffered together. That's so true. As a family. We suffered as a family. Well, so far, um, the art's pretty. Thank you for the stream suffering. You're so welcome. I did it just for you, Asia. We're here just for you to suffer. <laughs> Thank you for the Yona content. That's true. We did have Yona. We didn't get a CG. I, I'm used to like every chapter giving you a CG almost. So it's kind of weird that we're like on chapter five without a CG. But hey, it's uh, worth all the time. It's like Bob Ross. Yeah, we're having happy little accidents left and right. We have had no choices and a total of three CGs. And one of those CGs was a villain CG. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're learning things. We're getting there. 
but I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, I stream on Twitch about three times a week. If you're watching this on Twitch, you guys know I upload all the videos onto YouTube afterwards. And we've been chatting in Discord and sharing information. Like I put up what my list in order. I'm gonna be streaming uh, the, the routes in if we get that far someday. Bye guys, have a lovely day. Bye bye bye.